Welcome, 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 welcome everyone, welcome back. What's up Kyle, Daedalus, Josh, what is going on everybody? So, most of you probably saw I made a post about potentially playing Starfield today on stream. Um, it was 60-40 in favor of playing it, but uh, just some of the feedback I had in the comment section and just from my first few hours of playing, it's just I don't know if it'd be really a good game to stream. Uh, I think it'd be a good game to like stream if your like full time job is streaming. I could see that being good, and then just have like a clip put together, like clips put together to make like episodes out of it. Ooh, excuse me. What is up, Silent? Haven't seen you in a while. How's it going? So I decided we'll play some more Skyrim. Um, we did die multiple times on Blade Fury, so we are re-rolling. And I wanted to play some Mage. What's up, Gauld? Uh, because I need to get some Mage practice in before I start working on the Beginner's Guide when ne after next update drops. So like right now, my plan is once next update drops, I need to play it a bit so I can learn the new spells. I want to play with all the new spells, basically. So I'll do a few runs. And then once I've familiarized myself with all the changes, then I will uh, start putting the beginner's guide together. Better overall, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Skyrim just too good. So real quick, before we hop into Sarthal, uh, you know, we're level one. We just started. Uh, Dunmer, um, I've got Blessing of Akatosh, Mage Stone. Uh, we are wearing the the starting gear that you get from joining the Mage's College. And I just picked up a Steel Tonto for my starting weapon and some potions. And this is some stuff that I got from the college as well. Uh, so just some stuff I picked up along the way. Uh, ingredients I've already started collecting. So yeah, this way you guys can see what we're working with. Uh, actually, I want to... Uh-oh, having some frame dips there for some reason. I'm going to put that there. I'll put this like that. There we go. A short. Uh, yes, for F tweaks, there's going to be the next update that comes out. I don't know when it's going to be. It could be tomorrow. It could be three weeks from now. It could be two months from now. I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't think it's going to be that long. I think maybe within the next few weeks we'll probably see it. Uh, Requiem doesn't have a permadeath mode. It's just what a lot of people prefer to play. And if you watched my previous stream, obviously we kept playing after we died just to finish the stream. Um, so it's it's not like a uh, super strict. You know, it's just it's up to you how you want to play it. Uh, okay. So yep, Dunmer Mage Akatosh, the normal Mage starts. If you guys watch DB Meech, this is how he starts like all of his. Uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty big. We've got like I think five new spell archetypes So we're gonna get like new perks rebalance spells rebalance summons. Hopefully we're getting the The hand place light armors. I'm hoping we're gonna get some balance changes. There's a lot coming up But the one big issue is every time we get a big update means a lot of opportunities for bugs Oh so one more thing to talk about, uh, if you're familiar with playing mages, you're probably wondering, hey, how do you already have uh, dual cast? Let me. Uh... Well, this is highly so Amber, why in the world would this be sealed? with G tweaks, G tweaks, which is my own custom file that I'm making for my own personal balance changes. Uh, it's just things that I've suggested on discord. Some of which might end up getting implemented anyways, um, but this is one thing that I've suggested uh, to make mage beginning, like mage starts, just more manageable in a way. I think the uh, empowered elements perk or like the dual cast perk should be level 15 requirement, not level 25. Because like once you hit destruction mage 25, you're like, ah, oh, I need apprentice destruction, I need empowered elements, I need my elemental you know it, it's like three perks once you hit 25. um conjuration this isn't this is also pretty bad because it's like okay well i need i need my apprentice conjuration if you're doing bound weapons you're probably going for this and necromancy you're going for that stabilize binding and then you've got your dual cast perk 
Uh, illusion. I don't remember if this one, I think this one's like level 20 requirement maybe. So this one's probably not as important, but I think that's pretty good at level 15. Um, restoration, another good one, because once you hit 25, you've got, you know, or actually this one's 30, but still you have two perks like right away. And then what solar dominance is 35. And then empowered alterations being 15 means that when you get 25 alteration, you're not like, ah, I need to get improved mage armor. I need to get magic resistance. I need to get apprentice alteration. I need to get empowered alteration. Uh, it's going to be a doc somewhere with changes coming. Uh, it's just random discord posts at this, at this point. Um, fornication did post like a table of all the new spells and like their damage values to try to like get some feedback on the balance behind it, but it's just looking at numbers. Uh, are you doing any specific mage or just rock solid all around her? Um, probably I'm not decided if I want to do blood mage. I just don't like early game of blood mage. And I don't really like the idea of just like insanely overpowered one shotting everything late game. Cause I find that's kind of boring. So I'm thinking just a fire and ice mage. I'm going to go pyromancy and cryomancy. And then illusion alteration restoration. So pretty, pretty standard mage. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it that I've changed for the, the perks. So when you start off as like a Dunmer, you can grab novice destruction and then empowered elements right away. And then I'm going to save this other perk because once we do hit 25, I do want to grab apprentice and I do want to grab pyromancy. Oh. A uh, fun mage start is what we're going to be doing today. It's not very fun, I guess, but it's like the best start you can no do if you can manage through Sarthal early. Basically, you go through Sarthal. Oh, I can't leave. Um, so you can get Jiric Staff plus uh, Amulet of or the Galdor Amulet for Magicka. So then you end up with a big Magicka pool, pretty strong spells. And then you're just doing pretty good. Take great care and know that the order is watching. Oops, why did I favorite examine? That's not what I meant I, to favorite. I swear I felt some. What just happened? <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on. I, I'm gonna make this like my template swear, save. What just happened? If I decide me? to play it full permadeath, now, I don't know. Do be careful. I guess I do have permadeath Who in the title though, don't I? Fine. If anything, um, getting the empowered perk early on only just helps speed up the early game, which, if you know me, I'm all about speeding up the game. <laughs> oh, fortified carry weight. Okay. Hm. Hornhail just resurrected the Draugr. That's funny. What's up, HS? Yeah, switching over that NVME is going to be a what are you doing that for? big change. Okay. Wolf deer, I need you in this room. There we go. Thought I heard something. Where's Tolf Deer? Yeah. I forgot to uh, eat my baked potatoes that I brought. What's up, Dante? Oh, that's our buddies. Oh. 
Whoa. Was that his Draugr? I think that was the Draugr that he resurrected, wasn't it? No, it's not. Never mind. He's right there. I was about to say, if the Draugr he resurrected went down and didn't turn to dust, that would mean he has the 90 perk. Showed them, eh? Yeah, we sure did, didn't we? It was all we. I've never seen anything like this in Nordic ruins before. Luckily for most of this dungeon, it's like fairly cheesable. So it's manageable. Um, do I want to take an alcohol? I don't know if I want to be 75 points of armor weaker or not. I feel like it doesn't matter too much. I'm probably just getting one shot. I'm surprised I lived the arrow. And that was without my... Uh, without my baked potatoes up. I mean, I realistically shouldn't be getting hit by anything. So yeah, I'll take this. Four damage. Should have grabbed the silver one. I would have done eight damage instead. How good is Frost and Shock Destruction Magic and Base Requiem? Ah, uh, and Base Requiem? Mm, I don't think Frost. Well, they changed. I don't know what all was changed between 3BF Tweaks and Requiem as far as enemy resistances. I don't think much, to be honest. So I would say they're just fine. I think all of the elements are good. Uh, Frost is like the hardest to solo, I think. I think Shock. I think Fire is probably the best to solo. I don't know. Shock is also just really good. Yeah, the dungeon would be even darker, too, if I didn't play with my lantern on. It does kind of make it very atmospheric, but I feel like it might make it too dark for YouTube. Let's, uh... I should have waited for my Magicka to reach in. Damn it. They didn't... He's not a shouter, is he? I don't think he is. Dude, these guys are experts at dodging the fucking trap. But personally, I like to fucking see shit. So what you could do is you could actually drag these guys back into the previous room. And uh, have Tolf Deer fight them, but I want I want to get the uh, I want to get the insights for killing them, because if Tolf Deer gets the final hit, then they won't drop any uh, diluteds. Come on, boys. You guys are really starting to piss me off with this trap. Okay, I have an idea. An idea. Ah, oh, damn it. Too close. 
this point, I can just fucking kill both of them. Yeah, I'm about to just detonate this trap for them. <laughs> Get fucked, son. Get melted. Just want to say thanks for being so descriptive, what you're doing in your playthroughs, every video. I think I know everything about 3BF tweaks. I learned something new. Hell yeah, dude. Honestly, it's like the it's also just like the best way for me to fill the the dead space, like the 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 quiet times. Like I just talk about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. it just makes sense to me to talk about it. But yeah, also like uh spreading the knowledge. Yeah, the AoE was large enough. What's up, oh super? Uh, we're just doing a pure mage. Fire and ice. Mostly because I want to do like a cryomancer, but... You gotta deal with undead, so somehow. Oh gosh. You know, I actually probably could have saved the trap for these guys because those other two were like already almost dead, anyways. What's our insights at? We have seven points. Role playing Tolf Tier by uh, Let's see here. Run past you. Don't be on the stairs. Okay, I think the other guy is caught. Yes, he is. Are you going to Conjuration for Elemental Summons? Um, I didn't plan on it, to be honest. that happens sometimes imagine if you could like get them to hit the chests and bash them open for you does that work let's not try that that actually sounds like a really bad idea oh, I've got enough juice in the tank to kill them now that's for sure yeah you can use restoration for undead but uh, honestly the the sun spells are very costly But I also like fire magic, so I'll do I'll do both. Fire and ice. It's not that many extra perks to delve into one. I think it's like Enirim, like the uh, what's his big perk overhaul? Ordinator. I think Ordinator has like perks where it's like the element. If you just choose one element, it's stronger, but you can't choose other elements. I think that's a really cool idea. Wish we had something like that. Like, if you made it so that if you, like, force yourself into an element, like, if there was, like, a, an additional perk that you don't necessarily need to take, or, like, maybe if it's even, like, the level 100 perk, it's like, okay, as long as you didn't perk into any of the other elements, once you take this one, uh, your fire spells ignore 50% of your enemy's uh, resistances or something like that. I think that would be a good way to make a uh, single element viability. Because right now it definitely feels like it's hard to do a single element. Yeah, but I also have to perk into Conjuration. It's, it gets pretty perk heavy going into Conjuration. And then there's also the magic cost of it too. We really need, like, a patch or something that makes it so Tolftir can't trigger the trap. Okay, I actually have something on five, so I need to change that to this. Here we go. 
fire kind of the best? Yeah, I mean, I think fire's the best, and then... Yeah, fire, I feel like, generally is the best. Play Matronok have, like, still have, like, 10k resistances. Perfect. Oh boy. This is not how this usually goes for me. I'm not gonna lie. This is usually a lot easier. Does he regen? Okay, thank god he doesn't regen. Uh-oh. Copped in a rock in a hard place here. Oh, we're doing a pure mage build, Josh. My out- oh, it was only one of each staff? Or scroll, I mean? I could have sworn we had more than one of each. Damn it, Thorn. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. That slowdown really hurts. Okay, so just to save us from having to go through all of Sarthal a million times to go through this fight, we're just gonna... Uh, effigies is added by F tweaks soul. <clears throat> well, I'm behind. Uh, yeah, Blade Fury died a couple times yesterday. Uh, there's, I, I just really feel like there's no point in running all through Sarthal again. In my opinion. You know, I'm, I'm actually surprised I've never had an issue with this fight before. I think that is the first time I've ever had an issue with this fight. Okay. I have a... Yeah, you don't find them. You have to go and buy them from the Khajiit Caravans, the uninfused ones. And then you have a filled Grand Soul Gem and you take it to the Forge. And then you can, uh, make the effigy. Nothing seems to work. Keep it busy. I'll try to drain some of its power. Any day now, Toltir. Any day. Man, the we even have the fucking slowdowns cut in half, and it's still just like insane. Yeah, that's insane. His the slowdown on that is crazy. How the fuck have I never had this 
I've never had a problem with with fighting Jiric before. There's actually another three effigies that you can get that people don't know about. It's from some fences or something. Effigies were added more than a few updates ago. Hmm. I don't know why. I've actually run this multiple times. Well, I guess this is good practice, though, because if I ever plan on doing like a beginner's mage build video. Uh, I mean, we we kind of are. I should just take it out of the title. I didn't. I just used my template title. So we can just ignore that. No, it, the times I've come through here as a mage, I've played a lot of mages like off stream that you guys haven't seen. I'll try to drain some of its power. You have to get the uninfused effigy. So look how much damage he's taking right now. It was so weird. There were times when he was taking like a lot of damage, and then there was times where he was taking like very little damage. I really don't understand. It might have something to do with his uh, his uh, cloak that he has on, because I think if uh, he has, if it, I don't know, his cloak is weird. It, it like switches between which element it's on, and I guess if he's on frost cloak then he probably has fire resist. That's probably what it is. It's probably something to do with his cloak. It really makes it what inconsistent. Oh, good to find out, though. Yeah, Skyrim not quite permadeath, Requiem. Uh, well, mm -hmm. I, I did say that the save that I had before fighting Jiric was going to be my reset save. Because there's no point in running through all of Sarthal again, because it's, it's just a joke. Do you guys really want to watch me run through Sarthal four times in a row? Probably not. This is simply fascinating. I don't dare but at the same time, I just kind of need to get the mage practice anyways. Uh, Frost Cloak gives resistance to fire. Ice Cloak gives... Or Frost Cloak gives resistance to fire. Fire Cloak gives resistance to frost. And uh, Lightning Cloak gives resistance to shock. It's kind of weird. I mean, I get like the idea behind fire and frost, but you also have shock in the mix, which makes things a little confusing. I think it would have just been better to say fire gives fire resist and shock or frost gives frost resist. Respect to the reset save. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm going to go do hard stuff right now. So if we die, it's like, do I really want to reset everything? Quick, take a healing potion. If only that worked. Um... Mm, it's probably worth using my greater points here. For sure. Uh, probably go health because I want to survive. I feel like my magical pool is pretty good. Because see, now we can get pyromancy. So whenever I talk about beginning mage build, I think I will suggest going uh, to get 25 destruction before going in there <laughs> for sure. So I'm going to get fire rune and fire bolt. I really do want icy shard, but I'm going to get fire bolt. Fire's just going to be better early on. Ice is good later. Um, this here, put this here, put this on six. There we 
we go. Ooh, we can actually dual cast fire rune. That's crazy. Shock redirecting electricity. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I mean, the the rank two uh, runes, yes, they're really strong, but at the same time, like by time you get them, what's the perk level for it? 50? Just use, uh, just use fireball. <laughs> but yeah, no, they are pretty strong. They're just very costly. Maybe we should, maybe we should work on getting those. Hey, what's up, Kyle? Kyle number two. We had another Kyle in chat. A hard switch to blood magic. That, I mean, if I do a blood mage, that would be my plan was once you hit uh, adept or once you go uh, apprentice, you just go blood magic. I don't think the, the novice spells are too like risky to play with. The stream does good damage, but it drains your health so fast. The touch spell is nice because it's a super fast cast and it actually does decent damage while not draining too much health. But you have to be so close that it's dangerous. I would have to. Ooh, you know what? I actually have an idea. I mean, we'd have to do it on, on a next playthrough. I have an idea for a. Uh, for a blood mage start. The trick would be go dual cast the blood touch spell and then rush getting the dodge perk. Number one here. Because I was actually doing a build um, on my on an Argonian where I was using a dual cast absorbing touch. Here. Uh, with dodge perk and then using transmute blood to get all of my magic back Please don't. and then just and absorb it all work. back with absorbing touch. It's actually a really strong combo. Uh, if absorbing spells weren't complete ass against um, against uh, what do you call them? Uh, undead then it would be a really strong start, but eh, it's not really that good against Undead. There you are. I've been trying to find you. I just wanted to let you know that ancano has been asking about you. I'm not sure. Yeah, this... when I did it on my Argonian, I but used Lady Stone. A little suspicious, does it? Lady Stone plus Beastial Stew works really well. Mirabelle, take a look. Um, I'm gonna keep Sarthal Amulet actually. I want to try something late game if we get there. Mm -hmm. Cause the thing about the uh, Argonian alteration battle mage that I was playing is that you. You don't need a large magicka pool. You need a large health pool. So I would just put all my points into health. Why are you in my room? Yeah, my room. My magic's extended warranty. Get out of my room, crazy lady. You could murder her and get the expert robes right off the bat if you wanted to. Yeah, apparently. It's a weirdo. <sighs> I was about to say, I gotta find the inn in this godforsaken modded town. But, oh wait, this isn't it. This is the traitor. Eh, that's not where I wanted to go.
if it's not too much of a pain in the ass, next La La Land update, I'm going to see about removing all of the town and city mods in La La Land and replacing them with expanded towns and cities if uh, Ghoul ends up making a patch, a uh, 3BF Tweaks patch for it. If there's anything you need, just let's sate that appetite, huh? I do have some gold, right? Oh, I don't have that much gold, actually. I thought I had more. Uh, veggie soup. We could go tomato soup. That's probably good enough. We just need a little bit of stamina regen so we can run around. Or, like, run right. away. <laughs> really, just run away. Yeah, I mean, it looks cool, but it, it's really intensive. It's really uh, performance intensive. Okay. We want to go to Ingvild. Um, before we do that, I wouldn't mind doing Winter Hold Bounties. The only problem with doing Winter Hold Bounties is that we're going to have to deal with archers. Uh, I, I like the, uh oh, our arch nemesis. It's a boar. Uh, I like the, what do you call it? Uh, like lore friendliness of it. I like how vanilla plus it feels. Expanded towns and cities. Uh, you have to kill the the slighted now, HS, to get the robes. Born moved the robes onto the slighted. Come on, little buddy. Where are you, where are you going? You don't want to have any fun with me? I'm going to take the boar meat, because we can actually... Uh, actually make food with it. I think cooked boar is like We good? What do my current robes do? Oh, I probably should not have read that, actually. Rundi's Dagger? The fuck is this? This just looks cool. Oh, it's got a little destruction emblem on it. Oh, I like this. Huh. That's cool looking. Where I live, boars are daily radiant encounters, so god. It does matter, HS, because that motherfucker hits hard. Look at that. We got the bounty. We can go turn it in. Say fuck fighting the rest of these guys. Can't hide from me. That's funny. Oh, 
There's a big contingency on that if you're lucky. But we actually don't want the master alteration robes. We'd rather have uh, the justicer robes. Justicer. All right. That a wolf knocks a box. Tried to predict where she was going to go a little bit too much. This is why I never play a mage, because this this is the this is the way you do the combat. You gotta wait for your magicka to regenerate. Also helps if you hit your targets, though. Oh my God. Bruh. Oh man, a little fucking sidestep. You little bitch. not hit him. Oh, I think he's out of arrows. There we go. Where'd the other one run off to? Did they run back over this way? He's just stuck in animation or whatever. Hooked boar meat. Ooh, this is good, actually. Health increase plus stamina recovery. Nice. Hopefully made this because I miss all the damn shock spells. Yeah, the shock spells are also a lot harder to to aim <laughs> so uh fire's a little more forgiving i think fire's probably the easiest to hit frost isn't too bad ah oh, damn it i tried to fucking mute my mic in time but i couldn't pardon the sneeze <laughs> i was like rushing over to my stream deck i was like mute mute Ale is good. Uh, fish barrel. These are always good. Oh, actually, I didn't need. What did I just grab? More salt to cook some more of that boar. So that boar is going to be my main source of food early on. Doesn't help my stamina situation, but we'll be okay. Ooh, yes. Oh, brother. Brother. 
It's not the best ring to find on a mage, but boy, does this help. Dude, if we would have come here first, we wouldn't have had to worry about Jirix freaking uh, frost magic slowing us down. Well, we do lose some health, but it makes the it counter it, it what is it uh kind of counteracts like with the boar meat because the boar meat's gonna give us the 20 health that we just lost out on but uh that was uh that's definitely worth it does that help your stamina situation it sure does yeah now we don't have to worry about stamina like as far as like running away and stuff now we're good You'd come here first, so it would be different. True. If I come here first, I would have died because I wouldn't have had a uh, long range spells. But maybe, maybe coming here first is the better idea. Like risk the archers, so that you can, um, so that you can get to. Oh, oh, those are wisps. Fuck that. Uh, so that you can get to twenty five destruction before going to Sarthal. I don't think. I don't think it's like a requirement, but it definitely makes it a lot safer if you have 25 destruction. Oh gosh. You guys need some counter strike for aim training. <laughs> you know, I should be good at aiming. Uh, considering I used to play a fuck ton of okay, actually never mind. I'm going to counteract my own statement here. I used to play a lot of Halo. And uh, the issue with that, though, is I played controller. I, I, I suck at PC aiming with weapons. So that explains why I'm terrible at aiming spells in Skyrim. I need to play with a controller. I did play Master Chief Collection uh, when it came out on PC. Uh, I did play that uh, with mouse and keyboard for a little bit, and then I uh, and I saw like people were talking about like the the difference on the aim assist with the controllers. So I was like, oh, I didn't realize that. So let me try the controller. And I was like, what the fuck? It's just like easy mode to play with a controller. It's pretty stupid. We're just going to turn this bounty in before we move on to the next one. It looks cool, but it's too damn PC intensive. Too many frame My drops here. Deserve the yaw. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Safe travels. Yeah, Winterhold is completely overhauled. I think it's Cities of the North. Okay, we got a bunch of insights from doing that. Uh, I think Illusion 15 and then all into Alteration. I know Meech always like rushes Destruction 50, but mm, I think Alteration 25 and then all into Destruction. I want Shadow Cloak and Dark Vision. Shadow Cloak's going on three. There we go. I got some arrow protection. All right, what is traveling to Snowpoint Beacon from Winterhold? Why is this a Winterhold bounty? 
It is so fucking far away from Winterhold. It's crazy. Ooh, with this new ring, I wonder if I can bash open apprentice locks now. If I take the boar food and an ale, I probably can. A lot of the pros switch to controller. Yeah, I want to be surprised, dude. I, I don't know what it is about first person shooters that give controllers aim assist like to the degree that they do. It's crazy. All right, so we need another 80. Another 80? Uh, yeah, I can't make another 80 because right now we have tomato soup, which is 15. So we would lose 15. We would gain 80. So yeah, we'd be, we wouldn't have enough. Not too far off, though. Damn, dude. Watch where you're shooting. Oh, do we have a fortify health potion? No, we don't. If we had a fortify health, we could have done it. We'll cast Shadow Cloak in case a uh, random archer for some reason. There's another reason I kind of want to put up a baked potato. <laughs> uh, because I'm using a mod called Infinite Out of uh, or Infinite Stamina, Out of Combat Stamina. I think it's just the name of it, um, but it's it gives you infinite stamina. Um, I am sprinting. Um, but it gives you infinite uh, stamina regeneration. It, it's really what it really is. is It's just insanely high regeneration uh, while out of combat. But if I have my spells out or anything, then it deactivates. Same thing if uh, if I were to um, be sneaking, I would also lose stamina to prevent any uh, potential cheese that you could technically do with it. You know, I wonder, can we get anything from running through the beginning parts of... Uh, Alft hand. I can't remember. I think there is some stuff before you get to fighting things. If anything, you at least get some potions. I also learned that if you back up, you don't lose because it dips. Usually when you jump down there, if you land right here, you take fall damage. But if you back up, it lands up here or the dip isn't. Level three, we're going for the Elder Scroll. We're going to Black Reach. I don't think there's anything that's stopping you from going to Septimus Cygnus and getting the, the items. The lexicon or whatever it is. It's not the actual. Is, are they all called lexicons? Is that how it is? I guess there are some dwarven spiders that pop out. Yeah, I just remembered the Dwarven Spiders pop out. How far in do the Dwarven Spiders pop? Ooh, look at that, though. There's at least two chests. Hey, that's not bad. Can't remember... when the spiders start popping out. I think there is, like... Something in the wall that'll make them pop out, though. What the fuck? I thought I heard footsteps. Oh, I hear a spider. Yeah, we're starting to get into spider territory. Yeah, this is when the spiders start coming out. Fuck it. We got some goods. That's all that matters. I 
And then anytime I'm in combat, you can see that I do drain stamina. As the name suggests, out of combat stamina. Sometimes those Stormcloak couriers are, even, are just like follow you randomly. Like they'll be on the road and if you something, I think it's something to do with like Requiem opening up load screens for enemies to come through. Sometimes they just like go through the load screen with you for some reason. Not entirely sure why. So that's good to know. If you come to Sarthal early and you can break open chests, you can bash open the chests here. You can go inside, get a couple chests. We could go do Frostflow Lighthouse. <laughs> As if. Big potatoes, tomato soup. Uh, I think I'd rather actually go ahead and put on cooked boar meat, right? Yeah, I want the extra health. If there is some way that I... Well, we'll wait till we get up here. We'll take a look. I don't know if I can drag them up this way. Looks like I might be able to. I did alert them, didn't I? Armor set is sick. It's from Warmonger Armory. Because look at that. When we have Jiric staff out, we go up to 331 Magicka. That's crazy. Did he just duck? Did you guys see that? They thought they had the high ground. But I have the high ground. Well, look at that. <laughs> oh no. They got me. There's no way I'll be able to escape them now. Was that the boss? It was. Oh my god. So once you get 25 destruction, you just come over here, go go to the two winter hold locations, snipe both of them, <laughs> get out of there. That's funny. So I turned my uh my DPI down on my mouse actually makes it a lot easier to aim. I think that was my problem. I just had my sensitivity too high. But I like high sensitivity like when I'm just like roaming around. Or like for melee combat, I like high sensitivity. But for aiming magic, I like it a little bit better to not be so high. Okay. Now we need to go to Dawnstar. I don't want to... I definitely don't want to notify Fort Fellhammer. Uh, and there's usually like one silver hand outside right here, but that's okay. I can fight one silver hand. As long as it's not a silver hand archer, we should be okay. I guess 50 magicka? That's crazy. I didn't realize it was that much. Yeah, oh, it's two silver hand. I don't have a, uh... Is this what you want? 
This guy's fast. Let's see what you got. Victory is yours. I submit. Why does he have a silver sword and a battle axe? Makes no sense. Sure, why not? Can't remember if there's a chest out here. Wow, vanilla Skyrim, come on. Nope. Got potatoes though. I'd like me some taters. Let's see here, so if we just head west and then north, we should be fine. Right now we're just uh, traveling to Dawnstar because we're going to uh, we're going to do the Dawnstar bounties next. I think I'll do the Dawnstar bounties and then and then go do uh, Ingvild. I, I I like this mage start. I just don't think it's the easiest mage start. It's definitely like a little bit of challenge to it. But it definitely sets you up the best for for like going into mid game for mid game success. Oh, what's up, Yaunt? Sorry, I just now saw your uh, your message. My bad. How's it going, man? Also, if you're playing a mage, uh, one, alchemy is really strong. You should probably consider it. Um, two, you're probably playing an elf race and can already uh, create potions without taking a perk in alchemy. So it's also worth grabbing the pure mixtures quest. Divine sake, Scald. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wound? We're not soldiers Hopefully actually I don't know. If it's makes potions. Let's you see where we get. No, I don't have anything for bad dreams. I found the... Well, aren't you sweet? Okay. I was going to say, if it's Forsaken Cave, you kind of have to go through the whole cave and kill Crawl Mill. I guess you could run in, grab the thing, and run out. But you eventually, you eventually are going to go through Forsaken Cave anyways. Uh, but the other thing is, if it's the other one, where it's like protected by Spriggans, if you have the stamina, you can just run in and run out. Uh, yeah, we started in uh, Winterhold. We went through Sarthal uh, to start. Bandits. Uh, we died a couple times to uh, 
to Jiric. But it was really weird. Like, I don't know. I think it's something to do with his cloak. There were times that we were just, like, not doing, like, any damage. Like, it was very low damage for our fire sparks. Uh, or, I think, is it called fire sparks, actually? Yeah, fire sparks. Our fire spark spell is doing, like, very low damage sometimes. And then, and then, like, the time that we killed him, it just, like, completely melted him. And I was just like, okay, that's just inconsistent. Uh, but I think it's something to do with his cloak spell that uh, gives him resistances based on which element is out at the time. I think it's something like to do with that. <sighs> yeah, if I think going there with 25 destruction would make it infinitely easier. So the main reason I'm playing a mage right now is because I want to get some practice and some more experience under my belt for three BF tweaks mages because mage mage and uh, like pure mage and like sneak builds are my least played builds. I've played a lot of melee built melee is my number one hybrids my number two marksman's my number three and then pure mage and then sneak and I'm just I'm not really interested in sneak to begin with so I'm not really too worried about exploring sneak builds if I'm being honest guess I should have grabbed this fast travel point after all um actually shit this is not even I'm not even going the right way right now Need to be going down this way. Oh, well, we're already over here. When are we going to see some action? Oh, quit your belly aching. All right, that time I I got to my. Muting my mic in time for my sneeze. Yeah, we're doing pure mage. Um, I guess I should have done Helavood first because then I can do that dungeon and then Ingvild right after. Or I guess I do this one. Yeah, 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 actually, this is a better plan. We'll do this little hideout down here and then we'll have the fast travel point that we can go turn in all our bounties, get all the insights that we have. And then fast travel here and go do Ingvild last. Freed going the opposite direction, name a more iconic duo. Hey now. There's no need to be rude. Just kidding. Uh, let's see here. Do that. Hmm. Slows our regen a little bit, but I want 20 health points. The moment you get a debt destruction, cast consistently, it's a snowball. Yeah, probably. I need to lower my sensitivity. Now I won't miss. <laughs> Classic. I say, now I won't miss. Have the easiest target of my life and just completely miss them. Oh, Classic. Bro, 
Why is this guy so fast? That's the other thing, next update. It's going to be a lot easier to fight these heavy armor motherfuckers. So my DPI goes from 6,000 to 3,000. I need to make like a 4,500 point. He dodged, yeah. He ducked. That's what it was. Maybe maybe 5,000 would be optimal. Time to end this I don't know. I play at a really high depth of field. Or depth of field. Uh, oh shit. Archer. I thought I saw an archer. Bruh. A lot of fucking running and kiting. So I'm really glad I found this stamina ring early on. Uh oh yeah, the wait, where's the bitch that I killed? The fuck? Oh, is that her over there? I think that's everybody. I think there was one that I killed from range. Yes. Crossbow? Nah, I don't need a crossbow. We've already got ranged attacks. Ooh, fish barrel. Like me, a fish barrel. Oh man, still can't open that? I'm so close. Wait. Maybe. Uh, alteration, and then all destruction. Because restoration is just really not that good early on. Yeah, it's not enough to level up. I think there is another chest here, though, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Can't remember. Oh, wait, I think I had a key, right? No, I guess not. Never mind. Never mind. I thought there was something else in here. Wait, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. This one I had the key for. Oh, my God. That's not terrible. It's not the best, but it's not bad. Another enchanted ring. We got too many rings. We got enchanted ring health increase. We've got ring of mending 100% regen. And we've got extreme stamina. Yeah, Blade Fury died a couple times, actually. Um, Let's see. But I can level up. So we got mage skills. Destruction. health. Uh, I'm going to grab dual cast illusion. Yes. Look at that. Just barely. One point to spare. Perfect. Another point in destruction. Destruction 30. We're practically at end game now. And now... We can dual cast this, which is beautiful, because now it lasts a long time, and uh, we get 20% reduction instead of the normal 12 for arrows. So arrows doing 20% less, plus nearly 200 health, means we should pretty much survive any arrow with 100 armor rating. Should be fine. Uh, once we get... Unless it's just like some cracked dwarven bow with dwarven arrows or something like that. Um, but once we get uh, Justice R's robes, 
have another hundred. That's why Argonian Mage really isn't bad because like before this is before potato baked potatoes get nerfed, of course. You have baked potatoes giving you a hundred. You have um Argonians having an extra hundred armor rating, so that's two hundred armor rating. You could go Dabella early on, get another hundred armor rating, that's three hundred armor rating. Child scarf? Why is there a dead kid? Child shoes, why did I pick up his scarf? It's because it's classified as a uh uh whatever you call it. Um I'll take his honey nut treat. Oh no, did the oh gosh. Uh, but then you get the Justice Arts robe, so you get like 400 armor rating with an Argonian mage with just, like, active effects. Like, not even using mage armor. That's actually pretty crazy. It's a scarf if I've ever seen one. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you're supposed to play a mage. You're supposed to hit your targets. Keep coming. Don't stop. Don't stop believing. Not an archer. This looks great. Oh, yeah. This is the way Skyrim is meant to be played. Looking like a badass Telvani wizard. Slinging some firebolts. Firebolt, firebolt. Right. More destruction. Place this little bad boy right here. Get some magic regen going. Let us help and 80% of your magicka is sparking instead of the ground. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely uh, a little bit better when you actually hit your spells. I'm not going to lie. Uh, baked taters is running out soon. Should be okay. Just how Todd intended. Yeah. Todd intended on us playing modded Skyrim. Instruction book on the barrels to the left of the front door. Oh, good to know, ghoul. I would, uh... I would pick that up. Actually, I can shift-click pick it up. I should have done that with the illusion book. Uh, ghoul, by the way, you're a terrible person. How dare you? Put a dog in this dungeon. I have to make a patch for your dungeon now because of this. Oh gosh. Ah! Need to replace that dog with a wolf, man. It's not right. New, new version has a wolf. It's, okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Ghoul. I appreciate it. Now I don't have to make a patch. It's very kind of you. Ah. Perfect. There we go. Oh, and some salt. And potatoes? 
ghoul. You got me some goods, man. Appreciate it. I love, love, love mage starts and winter hold now because you can also go to Dawnstar. Thanks to your, your dungeons. It's so nice. Some more ale. Uh, I'm going to eat another baked potato just in case so that doesn't run out. The book on the barrels are all vanilla. Oh, that's funny. Oh god. We gotta stop sucking. Firebolt staff? Um... But we already have fire bolts. <laughs> we don't need that. You constantly have to run and hide. Exactly. I mean, mages are supposed to fight from range anyways. Don't want to be getting caught up in that Ford power tag, do you? Uh, venison. Pomatoes. Tomatoes. Also, thank you, thank you, thank you for putting freaking cooking pots in your dungeons. It's amazing. Although this one might be a little too close to the rocks. I don't know if you saw that, but it's a little glitchy with the camera. I guess it's a good thing you're here. You saw that. <laughs> oh, I already opened this chest. Get some... Oh, and if you're ever looking for, like, what kind of ingredients to put in your dungeons, please put blister wart in your dungeons. Because blister wart, I just feel like there's not a whole lot of blister wart in the, uh, in the world. And, uh, blister wart makes decent healing potions. So it's actually, like, really handy for early game. Yeah, like, slightly to the left, it'd be just fine. Uh, mage destruction... I should go grab and grab that uh, illusion book too. Oh, well, now we can put a point into. So once we get fifty destruction. Oh, this is sixty. When we get that fifty, we'll obviously get adept. We'll level up again before we get to fifty for sure. So it's time for alteration. We'll grab. Grab those two. Oh, I guess I need to put mage armor on three and then shadow cloak on four. All right, so at least now we can do that. Sure, don't start great early now. I like to clear my two camps here and then go to Fort Fellhammer, the military camp. Yeah, that that bandit camp though has like forty archers. That camp could really do with like <laughs> one or two less archers on the outside. It is insane how many archers are in that camp. Oh my god, look at all these potatoes. It's beautiful. Hold on, I want to go back and make more baked potatoes now. I remember I did that on... I did that because uh, I did Dawnstar start on my uh, Daedric uh, agent build, which was a uh, dual wield bound weapons Dagon early game. And I barely made it out alive fighting all those archers with Bound Dagger. I 
how many baked potatoes do we have now? 23 baked potatoes. I got 23 baked potatoes in my pocket. <laughs> how many baked potatoes do you carry on you at a time? All right. So now the plan is go turn in all the bounties. And uh, then we can uh, go to um, Ingvild and try to kill the Justus R. How much is our? So we'll do a firebolt. Sixty-five. So I'm confused by dual casting. Dual casting says it does twenty-five percent higher magnitude. Oh, damn it, I picked up the stupid child scarf again. Although it is worth a lot. So if it's 25% higher magnitude for twice the cost, I'm assuming it's it's still two firebolts, right? So base would be 130 plus 25% more of 130. So that, that would do more than my staff. My movement speed's only 98. You can see it in the bottom left corner. Elvani Potato Master. Exactly. Yeah, we have 98 movement speed. It's because we're only wearing cloth. Normally, if you're wearing, like, light armor, you go down to, like, 90 or something. By the divines, I'm tired. Unless you're here. Excellent. You've... Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. I've got the, uh... Snowpoint Beacon to turn in. I still don't understand why Snowpoint Beacon is Winterhold and not Dawnstar. But then we'd need more Winterhold. Uh, locations, which I'd be fine. I think if I think if Winterhold had one more location, that would be good. Winterhold needs like a medium to higher level difficulty location for sure. Maybe you can add like an igloo, igloo dungeon. <laughs> Collect Bounty, Fort Fellhammer. Yeah, unfortunately, I just don't really have the Magicka Reserves and Sustain to deal with five archers at once. If it was like three archers, we'd probably make out okay. But it's quite literally five archers, I'm pretty sure. It's like five or six. What's your business here in Winterhold? Nothing but foul deeds behind those walls. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. The guards. Someday there'll be proof. Oh, why can't I? Oh, guards. no. Most I might have broken the fancy Helm of Winterhold quest by, uh, mm -hmm. by doing the bounties already. Damn. Because if it was somewhere easy, we could have turned that in, and then we could have become in, we could have become Thane of Winterhold really easy, and then got a Magicka absorbing axe. All right, it is time for Ingvild.
All right, we can just head east. What's our time on our boar food? Huh, it's out. That's what time is on it. Uh, mage. Oh, we could have made some potions, actually. Probably would have been not a bad idea. Well, you know what? Since we don't have any active effects going, I am going to do that real quick. Uh, except I just remembered that. Oh, you know, I never thought about this. I think I'm just going to give myself the Dwimmer cube storage mod uh, item any time that I own a bed. <laughs> so like when you buy the plot of land uh, from Falkreath, you own a bed. If you join the College of Winterhold, you own a bed in storage. I wouldn't count companions because you don't own storage. So since I own a bed and storage, I think it's fair assessment to to get the Dwimmer cube storage just for convenience sake. I like it because it's like saves time on like traveling to places to get a cook pot and stuff like that. Uh, also, we're a Telvani wizard, so makes sense, right? Player dot add item F 1000. So the reason I'm giving myself a thousand gold is because I keep forgetting to make a patch to automatically get this item right here. Alchemical knowledge, uh, which just unlocks the ingredients effects so that I know what all the ingredients do. Technically, it works once you take the first perk in alchemy, but for elf races who don't need to take the first perk in alchemy, it's just it's just handy to do this. Uh, fortify. Do we have destruction? Yes, we do. Nightshade and ectoplasm. Oh, that's good to know. Aw, oh, man. It would drain health, too. That sucks. We do have a little fortify health that we can make. We'll do that. Fortify magic of 40 points. Immediately drains target's health by 48. Man, that sucks. Uh, this is fortify illusion, carry away, got a little stamina. That's fine. I'll just make a couple of those. Healing, those are pretty weak healing potions. Resist magic. Sixteen percent. Twenty-four shock resist, pretty weak. Poison inflicts damage on dead, so we could take this, right? And not get hit by it, <laughs> technically speaking. Uh, we should be good on the other stuff. Yeah, we should be fine. So if you don't know, Ingvild is home to Draugr and ghosts. And occasionally you do run into some pretty high level Draugr in here. So it can be a little challenging. And then there is a, a Thalmor or high elf enemy in a Thalmor type of robes. Uh, uh, those robes have pretty good enchantment on them. So that's what we want. You want them robes.
There's probably a path that actually goes up here, but this works, right? Sad, there used to be a fire cloak spell tome right there. Oh, that ring of fire is? Actually, I guess I didn't need to go up here, did I? Where is the entrance to this place? I haven't been here in a while. Are you going to steal and wear a woman's clothes? It's not a uh, woman's. It's a, it's a man. Alright, we're going to take... Baked potato, cooked boar meat, and ale. You got him, Miss Valley. Don't forget to like stream, everybody. Greatly appreciate it. A little broadcast. <laughs> Calling it the broadcast is funny. That'd be a lot of, uh, traveling back would have to do. I was thinking of the crazy, the lady with the crazy spellcaster gear. Oh yeah, the, and Anzelvund? Yeah, fuck that, we ain't doing that dungeon. Hell no. Would have be able to do that dungeon if we wanted to. multiple of them. Well, I was hoping to get multiple with my rune, but I guess that's fine. I think ectoplasm is a halfway decent ingredient for mages, too. Do that dungeon. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like Fortify Magicka uh, rank 2 plus regen is what it is. Make this build better, Shigorath. You guys and your cheese. Everybody wants cheese. I wish I was able to make a uh, fortified destruction. Oh, I never realized that casting ancestral ward stops magic regen. That's annoying. The fuck, man. What happened to my spell? Did you guys see that? 
the cheese. Yeah. We'll just sit here and wait. This is why you go fire the <laughs> early on makes this uh, so much easier. Going pure shock. This is uh, not very fun. What does Bone Meal have? Fortify Conjuration. There's this Fire Soul Trap. Chilling Oil. Okay, we don't really need to collect that much Bone Meal then. Whatever we have on us is probably enough. Wait, is this the right way? Yeah. To say, I don't want to use my fire rune on this one. Yeah, see, we didn't take a whole lot of damage there. And we also didn't... Eat, our Mage Armor ran out, too. Uh, what is it called? Sorcerer... I think she just has robes on her. I don't... She doesn't have four pieces. Because the robes you have to wear... Um, without a hood. Yeah, it's just the robes. So it's Hunter Magicka, 2, and then 225 regen. Oh, I forgot to take my Fortify Health. I'll take that now. I don't think I need the Gradual Restore Stamina. Probably good. Herbs are nice, but they weigh four units. Oh, dude, that sucks. Why would four do that? I, I meant to rebalance some of those robes that, so that nothing weighs, so that no combination of robes and gloves and everything weigh more than four, four units. I feel like that's just an oversight. I don't think that's like a balancing mechanic. At least I hope that's not his way of balancing them. That's just kind of silly to me. All right, Shadow Cloak's about to wear off. Mage Armor's about to wear off. Everything else is good.
Aw, oh, man, we're going through a room, so I didn't even need to cast the, uh... The rune. When will we see your supplement in three weeks? Uh, I don't know. Depends on if people even really care about the changes that I make. Okay, I'm going to go with empowered alterations, actually. So that this actually lasts a decent amount of time. And we get a little extra armor rating out of it, too. We're also playing, because G-Tweaks changes uh, Mage Armor 1. So it's 100 points and 50 points for Empowered. And the baked potatoes. So once we get these robes, we'll be at 350 armor rating. Okay, we're already here. I don't know if he's going to hear me cast this. If he does, I'm probably screwed. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. So the plan is to let the staff rip, hit him once, and then we're going to fire, follow it up with a fire bolt. And then I'll probably take a potion of magicka, maybe? I don't know if it's necessary. I'm going to put this on, just in case we need it. Okay. Okay, we got him. Thank God he's a high elf with high elf <laughs> elemental resistances. Die. Yeah, at some point, whenever I feel like uh, G Tweaks does enough, I'll also have to compare it to the next update, see what all Forn's doing. Oh, man, if only that was a filled grand. Could you imagine? But if I feel like it, uh, it it's something substantial, um, then I'll look at uh, maybe releasing like a change log and seeing if people are interested. Yeah, this is this set is so nice. So 250 Magicka regen plus 100 armor rating, 54 Magicka rank 2, and then 18 Magic resist. So we go up to 385 when we have the staff out. And also Mass Harmony. Dark Vision, which we already have. Creed Tweaks flows off the tongue. G Tweaks will be the name. Ooh, a bunch of greater points. That'll be nice once we get to Destruction 50. Um, is Destruction the one you level right after? Or do you think this guy needs a buff? Yeah, he definitely needs a buff. 100%. Uh, he needs um, a better detection slash aggro range. I think he needs to aggro like the moment you uh, open the door. I think that will help. That'll help prevent like setup like I just did. And then maybe... Uh, Maybe just give him some natural resistances because you know it's a mage that's going to be coming here to get his robes. So they're probably using some kind of mage spell or some, you know some kind of some kind of spell. What the fuck? Imminent restoration. That's crazy. Um Three tweaks huh. for the ones who want it all. <laughs> TM. Uh yeah, just so he doesn't get, like, one-shot cheesed or... I mean, you saw I hit him once with the staff, and then I hit him with a dual-cast firebolt. I sh if I would have just led with a, a dual-cast firebolt and hit him twice, uh, he would have died. 
well, getting the crown, you just you end up turning it in just to get uh, the reward or whatever of finding more gems. I don't think that's changed in F-Tweaks. I highly doubt that Forns mess with that. So cool. So now we have 350 armor rating. Uh, we need to... I want to go grab that illusion book before I forget. Just so I have it for later. Oh. Every mage I play does the same thing. Yeah. I think it's I think it's good that we have like somewhat early. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just vanilla. I think it's good that we have some like good early game mage gear. Excuse me. Hold on, let me turn my fan down. I live in Florida and I'm freezing my ass off in here. Just because without good mage gear, I feel like playing early game mage just feels abysmal. Okay, but now the world is our oyster. Uh, do we have an unfilled Grand Soul Gem yet? No. God, can we please make Black Soul Gems count for effigy crafting? What do you think, Ghoul? Do you think that sounds fair? Do you think Black Soul Gems should work for effigies? There's even more unique robes dropping next update. Fuck yeah, dude. That's what I want to hear. So are we getting are we getting like the uh, light armor unique enchanted sets that I've been recommending? Something of the sorts, I hope. I feel like I might end up making black soul gems usable for effigy crafting for G tweaks. I think that's something I might do. I'm questioning if I want to take on Fort Fellhammer. Just so many arrows. I mean, we have decent, we'll have 200 or 350 armor rating plus 20% reduction to arrows. So, oh, excuse me. Hold on. But it's still just so many archers. Uh, the one issue I need to I need to download that mod. Uh, is it called whichever carriage mod adds carriages to the other cities? So I think it's really annoying that we don't have a carriage to other locations by starting in uh, Dawnstar and Winterhold. Uh, I'd actually rather travel from. Winterhold to Windhelm, though. Sort of want Black Gem Effigy Crafting, but I do like that Effigies are harder to get because of the Grand Requirement. I don't know. There's, I feel like it's it's a lot more common that I get a Grand Soul Gem filled before I have a Black Soul Gem to fill, or I just a Black Soul Gem in general. So I don't know. I, I do think if you find a black soul gem, it's easier to fill because you could just go kill a low level bandit. So there's that. But at the same time, yeah, so I don't think I don't think black soul gem effigy should be stronger. I don't think that's good. But black soul gems are going to have a different use in next update for enchanters, at least. Black soul gems will be a requirement to craft the master scrolls. Which is really just mage armor five. Yeah, more carriages. It's like CZ. Oh, but it uses vanilla game prices. Ah, that sounds good. I would do that then. I guess on a pure mage, the best effigy to go for would just be Sorcerer's Effigy, since it doesn't have a drawback for now. Hopefully my suggestion gets uh, taken into account for making it uh, have a detriment. Azura Star for Hyper Effigy. would be crazy.
We could go do Falmer dungeons, right? What if we just kill one Falmer? I just, I just remembered that I, I mean, I, rem I went through this dungeon not too long ago when I was testing out dungeons, but I don't really remember this one that well. Do the same thing once I get good robes, always clear this spot and shimmer mists. Oh my god, you gonna do shimmer mist after this? Crazy. But with dual cast fire rune, honestly, probably not too bad. Anything hidden in the water? But yeah, getting a, uh, I guess, some early game jewelry is not bad. We're, I don't know if you saw Ghoul, but we actually found this at your your Winterhold Tower. <laughs> you had extreme stamina. So we actually already have some pretty good... We have Magicka rank 2, stamina rank 2. I guess we just need health 2, right? A honed Palmer sword. That's crazy. Move the mysterious chest uh, and got it to Forn, and also slightly move the ceremonial dwarven armor chest and give it to Forn. Ceremonial dwarven armor chest. Oh, okay, gotcha. Ooh, recipe to turn mammoth tusk. That's awesome, dude. Mammoth tusk powder is actually really strong. he was sitting there I thought he was still alive that's a nice find although it puts us over encumbered because I forgot to sell shit um gonna take that Oh yeah, chain lightning would make this a lot easier. <laughs> uh, I mean, we got uh I have so many freaking stays, it's ridiculous. I think we can take this off and we can put I have to remember that I actually have the you get a lot of utility early on with the mage builds because I also have the frost atronach staff that we could be using. Come on, I need a grand soul gem. For the love of Todd. So this seems to be the right way to go. So I'm just gonna put one of those right there. No, 
No ambushes. Okay. We're so close. We could spend our graders, but I, I am not a fan of spending graders. Dude, I know. I was thinking about when I when I started stream today and I was like, fuck, I forgot to set up Wheeler because I was playing Starfield last night. I was trying Starfield out and uh, so when I booted up stream today. I was, I was thinking that I was like, damn it. I wish I had uh, set up Wheeler before doing this. Did have a a bow, but look at that. We came prepared. This is why I love Dunmer Mage. Oh no. So close. That did get us a level, though. Ah, uh, I need to wait for that level, actually. He has a spell. <laughs> That's why you plant the rune. Pretty sure that's the end of the dungeon, though. Bound sword, blessed iron sword. Dude, what is with these? <laughs> I said all I needed was health, too, and there it is. Holy shit. Um... I mean, the stamina is really nice, but you can't go wrong with extra health. I do like the... Man, I really like the effect of immune to slow. 
I like it better than paralysis, because anything that's hitting me that's going to paralyze me is probably going to kill me anyways. That's wild. Our ring collector now, I know, right? Ah, bruh. Yeah, that's a fun little dungeon to do, actually. That's a, that is a very nice early game Falmer dungeon to do. I was like more scared of the Charis and whatnot with their crazy poisons. Because then you can head south, go to Win uh, Windhelm and do all the Windhelm bounties now. And since we're a Dunmer, that means we have no problem doing uh, fighting uh, Skaven. Dude, why the fuck? Do the vigilance of Stendar lose to skeletons? It's just pathetic. We run fast enough. Sometimes wolves get me more trouble than Falmer do. Yeah, really. We legit had more trouble with those wolves. If we run fast enough, we can sell this shit off. Uh, I think we can do um, Forsaken Cave for sure. Because we're going to have... Uh, yep, because we just hit uh, Destruction 50. And I think I am going to go Destruction... Fair of those skeletons hit like a truck. Yeah, but it's a Vigilant of Stendar. They're supposed to be prepared to fight Daedra. Uh, I think we go Destruction 60 ASAP. Look at that. We're three levels off of Destruction 60. We have one Destruction book. I think we could also go pay for one level of training. Oh, perfect. My game glitched there, actually. Let me go see how much it costs to get one level of destruction training. Because we can go get a level of destruction training. And then uh, level up. Pay for another level. And then read our book. A giant wolf boss. Like Sid. Uh, what was his name from Dark Souls? I'm going to butcher it. I can't remember it now. Sif? Wasn't that his name? Sif? Oh wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get out of here Tacit. Get out of here. You making the hot winter war? Fuck yeah, let's go. Jesus. Yeti win hell bandits. If I can get a wolf a great sword. Do it in a heartbeat. Hey, man. Have you tried? <laughs> Just give him the range of a great sword. And give him, like, a saber cat moveset where he does, like, a pounce. I know of a cave. It's a bit small of a cave ghoul but if you want to try making it work i think crystal drift lair could definitely use a strong wolf boss it's the cave just south of riften the reason i think it could use something strong in there is because there is a um 
there is a free uh, frenzy staff, or not frenzy, but fe uh, yeah, it's like the frenzy. It's not the AOE one. I don't think. No, it's not AOE. But it's really strong. I think it'd be fair to, to kind of gatekeep that a little bit. Looking to oh god, a wolf with shouts. Sounds funny. Uh, I wanted to sell the heavy shit. Yeah, crystal would be rad. It, it's just a bit small, so and but it does give you room to like kite them though around stuff. Um, if I remember correctly, the chests in what's that dungeon? Um, Lost knife. Hold on, did we get Lost knife as one of our dungeons? Come see me. Lost knife, Stony Creek, Traders, Uttering Hills, Winter, Crags Lane. Need some metal hammered. Take a look. We need. I think it's novice and apprentice. If you meet anyone in your travels who needs good steel, send them my way. I don't. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Uh, Crystal Drift is now part of Saints and Seducers. You have to go there for the new Nerve Shatter Warhammer. It's massive. It does 36. Wait, Crystal Drift in that tiny little dungeon? Oh, is Leuven at Trader's Post slightly easier now that he doesn't use a ward? Oh, I didn't even know he didn't doesn't use a ward now. Um, yeah, that would make him that would make him easier. I mean, most of the time I'm playing melee. The main reason I'm scared of him when I'm playing melee builds is because of fire, but since we're a Dunmer, I'm not really worried about the fire. Uh, I don't really want Nord Mead, if I'm being honest. Uh, I see Shard. Mage Armor rank 3. Oh, Mage Stone is boosting the efficacy of these. That's interesting. Forgot about that. Um, Funerary Rite. That's funny as a scroll, isn't it? Oh, I, I keep forgetting I had freaking healing scrolls I could have been using. Um, 240 armor rating. It's not bad. Thank you for your custom... Christoph has a Kenrith altar that gets used as part of Saints and Seducers. Gotcha. Never realized that. I'll be fine. <laughs> so. Surprised they use that dungeon my... for anything. It's so small. Just a man. Please don't, don't dally. I've Dude, I really like how I like the progression the of Dawnstar Winterhold. To Windhelm is. That's a really good progression. Oh, fortify destruction. Do we get anything else? Oh man, that's so annoying. Wish we could make some fortified destruction potions there. That's what you're here to do. And interesting mixture. Keep experimenting. You'll improve with practice. A 
hope you have coin to spend and you're not just here to gawk at my goods. I don't want to gawk at his goods, his gawkety goods. Wow, another 14%? That's not bad, actually. Pretty good for, for mage. Might be worth making that going to fight uh, Trader's Post, actually. Where did it go? Where is this projectile? Glowing Mushroom and Nightshade. Oh, I'm surprised there was no Glowing Mushroom in that Falmer dungeon then. Maybe. Oh, so you're an alchemist then. <laughs> Maybe he has some glowing mushroom. Nope. I hope to see you again soon. Casually insulting our mixtures. Eh, interesting, Kukok. Should I to keep practicing? Cause you fucking suck. That's what he just told me. I guess you do Shimmer Mist. Shimmer Mist probably has a uh, glowing mushroom. So that makes sense. Might as well do the, the great ingredient haul of Windhelm. I've noticed it doesn't work with a handful of ingredients, but I do have it set to cap at 30 ingredients. So once I've collected 30, see like how we're not past 30 blue mountain flower? I think it capped it. 30 for that one. Glow dust plus ectoplasm is strong too if you can get it. Yeah, glow dust is a bit uh, tricky to get, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we still have 14 minutes on cooked boar. Maybe we should try to make use of that. Oh shit, we were going to go talk to... What's his face? Moonfirth and level up to 60 destruction. Yeah, it's okay. I I'm fine with wasting a, a cooked boar a little bit just to get to 60 destruction because then we can go. Um, then we can get uh, the next perk. We can get adept perk and then we can get the second py pyromancy perk. Uh, glow dust isn't wait am I thinking of the wrong thing wisp wrappings isn't I thought it was on uh, um, wisp mothers right or am I wrong on that one I could be wrong then it's true what everyone is saying that Aventus Aretino is doing the black sacrament Ghoul, have you gotten the ancient shrouded robes yet? They're actually pretty good. I don't know where to get them, though. I mean, obviously, it's through the Mage's Quest line, but... I mean, the <laughs> Mage's Quest line. Through the, uh... Dark Brotherhood, but I wasn't sure where. Extra Magicka rank 2, 50 points, 250 regen, and destruction and illusion spells cost less. It's actually really nice. Volgrim won't give us a straight answer. Whatever you you already know all that I know. Strength he won't train me. All right. Ancient Shadow Robes rule. I have it right now on my Shock Dunmer. You have to unlock all the stuff af at the Dawn Star Sanctuary. Ah, that makes sense. That makes it worth it then. Magic okay, I want true power in this world. fireball.
and snow spume. Fireball, snow spume. Snow spume's crazy. If Ulfric needs, <laughs> I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Whoa, you got a lot of... A lot of stuff. A strong sword arm wins battles, but a keen mind... No, I have a, a hood. I could use a better hood, though. Um... Here's some glow dust right here, ghoul. It's like three glow dust in here. Tempting. Uh, once you get fire shock, it won't matter what other spells you have. Fire shock and frost shock are some of your favorites. Oh yeah, I like uh, I like snow spume. It's so good. <laughs> I wish I had Wheeler. <laughs> yeah, I really don't need ice storms anymore, honestly. Although we're Mage Stone, man. These do more damage. Forgot about that. Uh, it's so nice. Don't cross me, elf. But realistically, we regen magic so fast that we don't need it. By spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast that. Until next Have you used time. Cultist Chainmail? Oh yeah, I used it on. Uh, I used the one of the helmets on my um, dual wield mace build. I'm pretty sure. I think it was my dual wield mace build. I ended up picking that up because it was like five movement speed. It was crazy. But yeah, it's pretty good for. Uh, Mixed builds. No plugin, nothing. Get stuck in your save. Just throw it in real quick. Okay, let's try it real quick. Do you have a moment to hang around in case I have questions? <laughs> I know I need to put D menu on and. Uh, let's see here. I need to download your file that you sent me as well. Thanks, cool. All right, so I just downloaded your file real quick. I already have D menu and Wheeler downloaded, although I should probably double check to make sure I have the most up-to-date version of Wheeler because I downloaded it like right when it came out. Skyrim mod SE Wheeler. I always, when I hear this, I always think of Joey Wheeler. Uh, and look at that, there is an update. Oh, I want to use that. Uh, other mod that you linked me. The reskin. I want this as well. Oh, uh, do I need this influential custom key symbols modded icons wheeler patches? Do I need other dependencies? Maybe I'll just play with. Uh, did D menu get updated too? It did. Okay, I need to download the D menu update as well. Uh, 
I don't have a uh, scene set up to show you my screen right now, guys. So apologies. Um, see menu. Uh, Wheeler. The reskin is standalone, but you can always add that later too. Okay, so if I just add the reskin, then I'm good to go. Because I saw that it said it had like other requirements. I'm going to add your settings loader. And then we'll try the reskin. Because I really liked that reskin. It looked really cool. All right, let's activate these bad boys. Uh, also, I want to remove if it's not a plugin. Eh, never mind, it's a plugin. I wanted to remove protect your junk. Okay. D menu, Wheeler, Wheeler D menu settings, which is your plugin you sent me, and then the enhancement for a mage reskin. Oh, wait, that was an enhancement for the reskin. So uh, it means I don't have the proper reskin then. Other oh, standalone add ons. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to pop in game. We're going to find out. So what's the, oh, I need to change the hotkey. Well, we'll just take some screenshots, I guess, when we open it up. It's fine. I've already got the, the game loading at this point. Yeah, it's definitely a cool mod. As soon as I saw that pop up, I was like, yo, this actually looks really sick. Oh, we can change it in game. OK, I just need to open up the I'm going to open it up on my phone. The creation kit uh, hotkeys or whatever. Uh, everybody, I'm I'm reading on Discord right now. Uh, Forn said he's um, suspending uh, development on F Tweaks until he gets a thousand people subbed on his only on his only Forns. So we need to go sub to him. You get that F Tweaks update out. Oh, you know what? I just remembered someone earlier asked. I got caught up in whatever I was doing in game. Someone asked what my suggestion was for sorcerer's effigy. Uh, I suggested that depending on the amount of magicka you have, the lower your magicka is, the uh, more your spells cost and the weaker they are. And the higher your magicka is, um, the lower they cost and the stronger they are. And then uh, make like 50% like the threshold where it's just even. Um, okay, uh, so the wheel menu itself is open in game with X. Okay, so I need to take off uh, one of my. Um, I use X for one of my Sky UI hotkeys. So that's okay. Uh, you can add things to it. I mean, I won't have to use Sky UI hotkeys probably anymore once we do this. Add things to it. Um, item spell menu with X as well. Well, so you can add things to it in item slash spell menus with X as well. Okay, good to know. 
while in edit mode, left click is add, right click is remove, M is add another slot to the wheel, and is add a new wheel. Whew, this is a lot. <laughs> I know it, it I know it probably just sounds like a lot, but I think once we get in there, we'll probably probably get it. You can change the keys whatever you'd like though. Yeah, we should be alright though, because I think uh once we start getting used to using this, we're probably not even going to to need um okay no wheel present so okay so left click is add oh m is add uh nothing's happening it's a lot but it's easy quick so i have to maybe open this up first Damn faithless Imperials. Every one of them. So hold on. How do I add a wheel? I'm hitting open spells menu. Open spells menu. Okay, let's say. Aha! Oh my god, you can have so many. Oh no, how do I delete some of these? Cool, I made too many. How do I delete them? <laughs> I was just curious to see how many you could make. I made too many. Oh no. Oh, and it slows the game down. Okay. I'm assuming there's like an uh, any file I can edit to change the amount of slow time. Uh, okay, perfect. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, and then so to add it. How do I actually add? It? Okay, I just right click it there. Right? And then if I want to delete that, I just So how do I oh, Okay, and that's how I switch between wheels. Left click to add spell on. Do you want slow time? I remove it personally. Uh, I would probably remove it. Can you remove it in game? Left click to add spell. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making it easy. It's okay, you're good, man. You're good. Okay, let's see here. Fireball. So I guess you just change it, right? Oh no. How do I delete the extra wheels that I'm making? Never mind, I figured it out. Um, okay, and I figured out how to edit what's on what. Ah, okay. Uh, so we got Fireball, Fire Rune, hit F12, open D menu. Okay, hold on, hit F12, open D menu, go to settings, uh, move slow time setting to one. 
I don't see a slow time setting. Oh. Basically, over there menu. Basically, open wheeler styles menu in. Aha! There we go. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I figured it out. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I gotta save it probably, don't I? Auto save mod settings. I just do that. Just click save. Okay, that did not work. Set it to one or set it to zero? All right, you have to hit auto save. You have to hit auto save middle button when you're in the styles menu. Button. Oh, auto save. Not sure how actually. I see auto save is down here. Well, let's try again. Oh, there we go. Never mind. We're good. Okay. Okay. Ooh. All right, now we're getting it. Pain to set up, but but fun. <laughs> I got you. No, no, no. You helped helped a lot there. Okay. I just wish that the I wish that the uh, wheeler would could be dispelled by hitting tab. That's my only gripe. Um. So a few more things. Uh oh, <laughs> here we go. Soon we'll rid Skyrim of elves. They're bloody just the cars and the yards in their pockets. The whole damn lot of them. You can actually use the wheel by holding X, and it'll close when you release. Ooh, okay, that I like. What's up with this like two of two that I'm seeing? Oops, 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 oops. What did I just take off? I took off fire sparks. See what it says, like one of three, one of two. Um, you can add multiple spells. That's, oh, you're going through it right now and go through them with the mouse wheel. Oh, okay, that kind of sounds complicated, though. I feel like that might make things too complicated. Uh, like if you're in combat trying to do it, I mean. We can summon the female warrior for 524 magicka. Uh, dark vision. That's the two things. Yeah, 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 yeah. You answered it like as I was asking it. Um. Okay, yeah, I like the hold. Yeah, I couldn't imagine like also trying to scroll. I'd rather just have have multiple uh, options to select from. You know, this would make playing a shield mage a lot better so that you can put stuff in your right hand and not have to set up, uh... Not have to set up, um... Sky UI shenanigans. This also means that I can take stuff out of my favorites menu that I don't want in my favorites menu. I'm proof of it. Actually, I think I'm fine keeping some things there, though. 
Uh, let's see here. Like, I still want to keep Fire Bolt on. Uh, I can take Fire Ball, Fire Rune. Actually, I want to leave Fire Rune. I don't need to, actually. I can take, like, all of this out of my... And then just keep, like, my buff spells on. Or maybe I put all my buff spells on this menu so that I don't have to do this during combat too much. That might actually be a better idea. Back in the styles menu, you can turn off radial blur effect. Yeah, I, I actually already did that. But yeah, yeah, I think it might be caused by the ENB. But that's only when I'm like adding stuff to it, so that's not too bad. Uh, I think I actually want to keep uh, Jiric staff because I use that so frequently in combat. But the Frost Atronach staff for sure can get added. So how do I... Hold on. Well, I want to add this. Oh yeah, there we go. It's M. There we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to understand it now. I'm trying to see what else I could put on here, honestly. I could even put things like my storage cube on there, probably. Yeah, I could. That's cool. I don't want to accidentally do that in combat, though. That would be bad. I do not recommend adding potions to it. It gets wonky. It does help with fast-paced combat. Yeah, this is... Oh, my God. God damn, I'm talking in riddles. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice for... For casting our buffs. It's, it's way better than having them on... Uh, hotkey here. Some things I do want to keep on, just because I do find that just pressing a hotkey is faster, but this helps with all the extra hotkeys. Oh, I could see it making shout built a lot, lot more intuitive. Okay, I need to have my dagger quick at hand so that I can quickly finish an enemy off or break a bow. I like having my ward easy access, having my summon ready to go. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, this is a great setup. Thank you for talking me into setting that up just now. <laughs> Uh, now I can take a couple more things off of here. I can take off both of those. It, what I also like is that it cleans up my favorites menu quite a bit, which is really cool. Oh, you can, oh, that's right. You I forgot you were telling me about that. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. I need to test that out because I use the QUI a lot.
grant peace to these departments. Okay. Let's, uh... <laughs> maybe we should make a rule that while we're getting used to, uh... Well, we're getting used to the new menu, we, uh... <laughs> we're not on Bermuda. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be using it too much in combat yet. It, I, I must say it makes the it makes the all the hotkeys for buffs as a mage. It's going to be really nice. Like once we have like shadow stride, shadow shield, shadow intangibility, although shadow intangibility, I probably want like on quick menu. I feel like pretty much anything that I want, like super quick access to, uh, I'm I'm going to want to keep on my normal hotkeys. Mage armor, shadow cloak, baked potato. Thanks for the help, Ghoul. Really appreciate it. Although our stamina is kind of an issue right now. I think it might be better if we wear the stamina ring for now. I keep my normal use things on my hotbar and then put other things there. My knee on the wheel. Now the, now that I'm using it, major things on it, like cloaks and runes. Yeah, I, I think uh, the more I play with it, the more I'll get used to it. But I remember there used to be a wheel mod before. Uh, this is just way better. Okay, so if I want to edit it, I need to go into here... And then, there we go. What's up, Harness? Okay. Clear. We just got, thanks to the 20 messages you see before you with Ghoul, we've got, uh, we've got Wheeler working now, which is nice. You know, this might be too close to town. Yeah, that's a little too close, actually. Oh, that was a delay. Uh, yeah, we're playing that pure mage build right now. Yeah, it is only item or spell menu, so no accidental edits. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay. Where did I put that? Shit, I forgot where I put the uh...
Yeah, now that I've got Wheeler, I think I am going to go for Rune Mastery, honestly. Uh, we're Mage Stone plus uh, Akatosh. Oops, I need to get used to Wheeler. <laughs> I tried to use my hotkey for you like a horker. Oh my god. Bro, that damage is insane. Snow I need it. I need to invest in my frost magic. Ooh. Hollow the elven axe. Time to get it looks like another Lewin. Or Leuven, I think is his name. Yeah, Snow Spume is so good. It's ridiculous how strong Snow Spume is. Uh, no, we're going to go Restoration. Um... It's just not really that good early on. It's not the best. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm prioritizing destruction and alteration and then using a little bit of uh, illusion as well. No, I just used one of my keys. I could have bashed that open. Hold on. I am giving myself my key back because I needed that key for something. Oh, I guess I could have tried to use D menus uh, add item menu. Obviously, I would have just bashed that open. Um, but since uh, since we're at Dunmer, we have the Dunmer Ward, which is better than Arcane Ward 1 anyways. So we just use that because it's so good. Because right now, I, my main focus is destruction to 60, alteration to 50, and then restoration to... And then we'll level restoration to 50. And then we'll do illusion. And then alchemy. See, I think alteration is our next focus. To add normal ass stairs. I don't think the parkour doing the parkour there is too hard. Oh my god, that's so satisfying. I will gladly take the boar meat so that I can make more, um, more stuff. Hold on. I think wearing the health ring. I'm just incredibly lazy. Uh, let's see here. Mm. 
All right, my plan is just to do all of these. Come on, I have a perk, don't I? Oh yeah, but we're waiting till we get, Ugh, dude. I kind of just want to go ahead and grab Cryomancy. Because honestly, Snow Spume will carry us through everything that's not a Draugr dungeon. And Fire Rune will carry us through all the Draugr dungeons. Yeah. All the uh, the ones with uh, explosion data. Oh, I didn't get that up in time. That's so annoying. Take Cryomancy for sure. It'll clear the rest of the bandits. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and grab the Cryomancy perk. Oh, although I guess these guys are probably frost resistant. They're probably fire resistant too now that I think about it. That blubber. My fortify health's about to run out. My mage armor's getting close. I don't know what the mod total is, to be honest. However many come with La La Land, plus like maybe 30 or something like that. It's going to be really nice next update when uh, staves, more staves have that uh, like Jiric style effect of helping with regen and everything. Even if it ends up only saving a little time, it sure does look cool. Honestly, it's for me, it's not it's not the time save. It's being able to have more on my quick menu. I think it's this is a like a lifesaver. This is so nice. Oh shit. We've alerted the big boy. <laughs> Except we're a mage. The FPS, FPS drops weren't too bad.
Um, we could definitely go kill Ingol. Might as well, right? Uh, I'm just going to keep leveling health for now. Health will prevail. Probably time that we grab Apprentice Alteration. And then we can get Transmute Muscles and as much as I'd like to get a uh, Knock or Feather Falling. Mage Armor 2 is going to be the way to go. We can get Knock for free once we go to White Run. And look at that. We got more spells to add to our menu. Um, so we just pop over here and then we go, huh? And then we go, huh? Huh? Let me go, huh? No, wait, hold on. Yeah. Let me go, boom. Boom. Oh, shit, hold on. There we go. So we can't, can't dual cast that yet. Come on, staff, get out of my face. I love when the game takes forever to realize what the fuck you're doing. There we go. So 325 armor rating. Do we have baked potatoes up right now? No, baked potatoes is down. Are these bandits here? The fuck? Shadow cloak's about to wear off. Should have known better. Try a different reskin. Okay. I like the look of it, though. But we, we might try that at some point. We can play around with it now. Uh, I think I'd rather have extreme stamina on. Spume is doing the work. Yeah, dude. Spume's crazy. Spume is indeed crazy. I don't like the idea of using two wheels. That sounds way too much. Maybe I guess if, it, if you put stuff on your quick menu that you never use outside of combat on your second wheel, then I could see it, I guess. <laughs> but, uh... We're going to be sticking to one wheel, <laughs> that's for sure.
Uh... Wait for a Magicka to regen. Wow, did we just kill all three of them? What the fuck, dude? We did. That's crazy. Oh, that's hilarious. That is quite funny. Yeah, I mean, just one shot all of them. Rune, yeah, runes are crazy, dude. Getting the rune two is going to be insane, too. One of the easiest Ingol fights I've ever had in my life. Just to test a uh, heavy battle mage, Altmer Lady, Herma Mora is actually fun. Mason Molag Ball with uh, Shock Magic and Restoration, Altmer Lady. Um, so do you go for... Ooh, Altmer makes that t difficult. I was going to say, do you go for uh, the War Mage armor set early? I love that armor set. Poor doggos, I know. Ingol, Helm, Mode. Time to pivot to heavy battle mage. Yeah, right, we could. Get that frost resist, right? Akatosh's blessing. I can't remember. Akatosh is for getting the Elder Scroll, right? And then Julianos is killing the dragon in Black Reach, or is that backwards? Did grab War Mage around level 12, then mixed it with Paladin. Ooh, yeah. Then Azadol. All the way around. Okay, so Akatosh is killing Violther or whatever his name is. In Black Reach. Okay, that's not too bad then. Doing that'll be nice. Get some extra stats. Akatosh regen is for main quest complete and 30 stamp. Okay, gotcha. That's right. So we actually have incentive to do main quest then with this build. Because I'll probably stay Akatosh the whole time, honestly. Because magic regen plus free, uh, free 15 and 20% damage boost to my fire and frost spells is, is just like the best you can get with no downside. Not to mention, like, if we went vampire and we got, uh, well, no, I was going to say Amulet of Akatosh. Amulet of Akatosh is pretty crazy when you think about being champion of Akatosh because it's, uh, 
because you're getting 40 frost and 40 fire resist. That's pretty insane. Okay, so we did those two. What's time on everything? Six minutes on boar meat. Um, yeah, the amulet's crazy. It, I think it's really good if you do it on like an Altmer, Altmer build. I think the Altmer would benefit from it more. Because for, for Dunmer, it's like the fire resist doesn't really do anything. Edgiest Vol Volthriol, Dark Overlord Fire and Dragon Language. Dude, that's a fucking badass name. All right. Hand over your valuables. Don't you walk away from me. Watch this. They just barely killed him, though. Ooh, conducting orcish dagger. Oh my god, that would have hurt. Holy shit. That was my that was the anti-mage dagger. That's the one that does more damage to enemies who are casting spells. Ironic. It would work really well on a stage one vamp. Like if you went like stage one vamp uh on anything other than a Nord or a Dunmer. Actually, even on a Dunmer stage one vamp, it would actually actually be really good on a Dunmer stage one vamp because that would probably like give you max resists between fire and uh, near max resists fire and frost to stage one vampire. Hmm. What do we do. Uh, yes, I still get crashes there, so we'll just have to be careful. Oops, I do want those juniper berries, actually. Easy peasy. Yeah, any of the uh, spells that have like explosion data uh, can bash open chests. Okay, I think it's actually better if you COC uttering hills cave. I don't know what the actual COC is for this place. Either I'm having a big lag spike, or that crashed my game. Yeah, no, this area is really bad about crashes. Uttering Hills Cave 01, gotcha. <laughs> well, we crashed anyways. <laughs> we crashed trying to do it the safer way. Um... All right, I'm going to reload Skyrim. I'm going to use the bathroom in the meantime. All right, Skyrim's loading up, maybe? Maybe...
Ooh. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, let's get back in here, man, someone somewhere in like fucking North Carolina or something must have advertised the wrong phone number for their rental house. I've gotten like four phone calls today from people in North Carolina and Tennessee call me about the house that I'm renting. I ain't rent no damn house. Oh, maybe I should and be like, yeah, uh, how much are you going to give me? Oh, cool. Thanks for the uh, suggestions on the on the uh, Wheeler menu stuff. I might I might try the untarnished one, Ghoul, because that one would probably be pretty sick. <laughs> Mage landlord build. <laughs> okay. COC uttering hills Cave O one. Uttering. I put utter hills. Uttering hills cave one. Damn Nords. Oh, it's close. I mean, we have 425 armor rating, so... And 241 health, so that wouldn't have killed us, but it wouldn't have felt good. 
We have all the power. Petition to make snow spume and fireball break break bows. It's called a wheeler, uh, Mike. Definitely worth checking out. Super cool mod. Hold on, I have an itch. What's up, Patama? We're uh, we're doing a pure mage, fire and ice. Ooh, an itch. That hurt. Bro, just died in one shot to a single cast. And he was the boss. Craziness. Could go here to Lost. I've never done Mistwatch, or I haven't done it in a super long time. I mean, what even is that Mistwatch? I feel like this might be one of those builds that just progresses too quickly early on and might need uh, the slow down the leveling. That's just bandits. Oh, gotcha. I haven't done Mistwatch in a super long time. Uh, I think improved mage armor is probably worth it. There's plenty of bandits and some enchanted loot. Ooh, I like enchanted loot. Tons of booze. <laughs> Tons of booze. Um... We actually will probably get to 60 destruction soon. I don't even think we need to grab one of those perks yet. We're definitely getting improved mage armor. Because once we get mage armor rank 3, then we'll have another 15%. Uh, 15% uh, arrow reduction. Ranged damage reduction. You know, I feel like we would actually be able to to clear freaking Raldbathar. Boss chest plus three or four more normal chests. Ooh, sounds good. Damn it. Hopefully we auto-saved coming out of the dungeon. Yeah, this area crashing is still unknown why, I believe. Because it doesn't generate a crash log, because the game freezes. It doesn't crash, per se.
wonder if the giant frost troll behind Uttering Hills is causing the issue. Hmm. That's a possibility. I'm not sure why he would, unless he has like some kind of mesh replacer or something that's or some kind of model. That's a possibility, though, because if it if it's not an AVO issue, then that could make sense since that's obviously not in vanilla. Um, I don't remember if I had any issues when I fought him on my, my on my Malakath build, the, the Daedric looking build. Um, okay, cool. But that. That is likely because, I mean, that kind of does seem like the center because the main places you crash are Uttering Hills, Mara's Eyes Pond, and um, when you're walking the road, when you're walking on this, the road heading uh, north to Windhelm from Whiterun, that road right there also has the crashes. So that that is probably a good chance, especially if it's not an AVO related issue. Like if it doesn't happen in vanilla AVO, then it's very likely. But it would be weird that it happened. Okay, so now it's repeatable. Now it's repeatable. Not to take a different path to get up to Raldbathar, I guess. That's annoying. Could be troll, uh, or I forgot I had already talked about the player home. So it's, that's also another possibility because we already know Mara's eye is like really fucked up with the player home shenanigans. It's pretty weird that we have that issue though, because isn't the uh, isn't the Creation Club house there or whatever? That's paid Creation Club, right? Don't you have to have the paid upgrade, or is that from the free? And that's just something that Requiem removes. Right going this way.
So we don't actually have the CC, but my concern is AVO uses some sort of custom patch. That's depending on markers. Ah. Definitely sounds like a potential candidate then. Um, those last how long? Five minutes. Uh, shadow cloak, self-made potions, lasting a bit longer. We can take... Oh, I didn't make more boar meat. That's fine. I think we'll just do... Cooked meat for now. No Speam is great because it takes no skill to use it. <laughs> that sucks, Mara's Eye is such a good dungeon for your level. Oh god, yeah, we could do Mara's Eye and go vamp early. Oh lord. Might have to try to force our way there. Maybe we can COC there. That's risky, though. That's risky. Would be nice to go vamp early on. <clears throat> All that extra health. Honestly, for the stamina. <laughs> for the stamina, it would be nice. Wow. You survived a dual cast. Something must have happened where he didn't get hit by both. So what I did on my last vamp mage, I did fell glow early and all the vamps are dead in there. Ah, yeah, we could do fell glow somewhat early. We could probably go kill Irvinon and get his necklace or just run some of the, uh, run some of the, uh, other dungeons that give you, I can't even speak right now. The ones that give you um, peerless chances. And you get all the vampire dust. True. That's a good point. Uh, back at the college, the Dunmer student lady has a small quest where I believe she gives you a magic resistance necklace. Really? Which one is that? That sounds crazy. I didn't know about that. Wow, we just killed both of them with a single cast. I knew it. Uh, that it? That your best? Why didn't that make any sound? Oh god. Why is Elaine so fast? Best 
Dude, Elaine is so fucking scary. For pity's sake. And then he starts charging at me. Uh, Braylon, where she turns you green? Really? That Damn. Did you just wait a few hours? Bam, you get a magic resist necklace? That's insane. Why does nobody know about this? So close. Dude, we level up so fast, it's crazy. Uh, we might be, if we're gonna be going vampire, then we're good on health. I'm just gonna level all into Magicka now. Then she becomes a marriage contender, I believe. Go get your Dunmer bride. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I wish we had Frost Rune. We need to get the other runes so that we can... Uh, That's where all my gold's going to go, is buying spells. What if my health's about to run out... most unfortunate. Oh, oh shit. We're getting uh, more efficient at using... using uh, the wheel in combat. Having to buy a ton of spells, yeah. Oh shit. So close. I feel like we could probably do this whole dungeon, but do I want to risk that? Not really. Bro, I really needed to get a uh, knock.
You yeah, had grab knock from halted stream then come back. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, if we get the magic resist necklace, if we put a couple perks in uh, alchemy as well, we could also make some strong resist potions. Coming here with knock would have been a really good idea. Well, what can you do though, right? Just in case. All right. One thing I really like about Jirik's staff, like giving you the bonus and everything, is that it just feels like a cool way to play a mage, like using a staff, even if we're not actually using it to do a spell. But the good thing is, one, we're mage stone, so it's boosted power. And two, um, we're fire and frost, so if we need shock, we have shock with the staff, which is really cool. Let's see. The I want to do white file next. Uh, I'm going to pass on... I did want to do lost knife. So maybe we'll head south. Oh, got an amber alert. Hold on. Okay, maybe we'll do, we'll head south, uh, hit up Lost Knife, head back up, do Forsaken Cave. Might not be a bad idea. Look at that. We got just enough to get to destruction 60. I think I have one perk to use, right? I do. Do we want to grab Cryomancy 2 or Necromancy 2? Or Necromancy. Pyromancer or Cryomancer. Or do we want to wait until we're about to inevitably hit uh, Conjuration or Alteration 50? Alteration 50 honestly sounds better. I think our damage output is fine for now. Uh, let's see here. It's just directly south. Yeah, so I think um, I was going to say, I think doing this dungeon, so we get a bunch of insights, a lot of chests in this dungeon. Um, Then coming back up, doing Forsaken Cave. Not a bad idea. I think this is actually where our treasure map is, right?
I heard something. Hey! Oh! Ah! <sighs> Such a nice setup to do this, because then you also get the treasure chest. Power level alteration, power through lost knife, then miss watch. It's close. Combine will grant tons of standards. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what we'll do. Let's take crime two. Make the bandits clear and extra effective. Yeah, that's true. Actually, where is missed watch on here? Okay. Isn't there like a quest tied to missed watch, as well? Maybe you're right. Maybe we will grab cryomancy two. The damage right now on it is insane. If we can like one shot almost everything with it, uh, bandit wise, it'll be even better. There's a quest to Mistwatch, Mistwatch, small one. Yeah, it's like, if I remember correctly, isn't it the one where it's like the guy's looking for his wife, but she like became a bandit or something? the spell I was wanting to use. We'll get better at the the menu. Get so many damn hotkeys now. Yeah, boss wants his wife back. Oh, that's the abandoned prison. Which means we're not far from Halted Stream. Or not Halted Stream, but uh Valheim. Such a simp. Head south. Look, it's where we started. We could definitely take on the mages on the outside, but I just feel like there's no need to. Band in prison needs something to make it cooler. We need a boss. We need a custom boss. We need to uh, put Valok the Jailer in there so it's easier to get to. Ghost weapon. Oh, oh, ghoul. You could put the uh, the ghost battle axe that's in uh, vanilla Skyrim. It got removed. I don't know if it was removed in Requiem or removed in uh, F tweaks, but that could definitely go in there. That thing's cool. Just have to put a strong enemy in there. Unique Imperial weapon. Yeah, I could do that too. Yeah, that'd be cool. Put it on some kind of like spectral warrior. 
You've missed everything, Daedalus. We're level 47, about to fight Mirak. You slided would do. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. That was fast. I just went to get food. Uh, the wheel mod is uh, called Wheeler. So if you jump in the water, there's a hidden passage to a room with a chest. What? That's crazy. Can't hide from me. Try that out. Magic circle. What are you talking about? Is there a bandit up there? Yeah, there is. I just took a guess. What? I didn't know that he does that. That's hilarious. I've never seen them jump off of there. Oh, the magic wheel. Yeah, that's called Wheeler. Show we Wheeler. If you didn't know. Ah, I broke it. My man tried to kill himself. He saw you murdering all his friends. Oh, that was funny. I'd never seen that before. All right. I think we're all thinking the same thing. Snow spume needs to be fucking nerfed. <laughs> That shit's so good. I remember using it like once before and I was like, damn, this spell's crazy. I was using it against, uh, um, where did you say this was? So if you jump in the water, hidden passage to the room of the chest. Uh, I was using it, uh, in the place. What's that place called? Uh, Hag's End, I think it was. And I like took out like all the Forsworn before they even got close to me. Buff it. Well, part of it is because we're Akatosh Dunmer. So we just get like insane damage with it. Aha. Isn't that neat? We got 58 gold. Wow. And a leather cuirass. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> and that's alteration to 50 for you. Uh-oh. There we go. Not worth it. <laughs> Don't forget the iron ore vein, yeah. Yeah, apparently that's vanilla. Yeah, I had no clue about that either. Oh, okay. Seen some seen some stronger ones before. I wonder if we can dual cast this yet. Not yet. Oh. Just 
Hello, dude back here. That's funny. Yeah, I've got a favorites menu as well. Oh, use them both. Still have hotkeys. Like I've got uh, Jarek Golderson staff. I have this. I have this on hotkey. I have my ward. Summon Spirit Bear in case I need him. What's up, Mirrors? Hell yeah, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Getting some fun pure mage going. Okay, we're good on buffs. We've got food. We need potato. Look at that. 540 armor rating. Not bad. Hot keys, you mean attractive keys. Yeah, those are nice, right? died. We almost died because of that stupid fucking rock. Scary, scary, scary stuff. Actually, you know what? There's like always a novice, or not novice, uh, what do you call it? Um, deficient healing potion. There we go. Up here somewhere. Think that spell is a little strong? Yeah, just a little. But we also have a level 60 in destruction, and we have uh, two points in cryomancy. And we're a Dunmer, and we're following Akatosh. So we have a lot of things that are fortifying the strength of that spell, which is why it's so strong. So you might not see the same results unless you are copying like exactly the kind of build that I'm playing. Yeah, Blade Fury did die. <laughs> Blade Fury died a couple times. Surpassing? Damn. Could you imagine if uh, if Snow Spume worked with the Deep Freeze perk? Whew. That would be crazy. Optimal build. <laughs> yeah, it's very optimal. Ooh, potato. I'll take the potato. I will take the potato. If you got sniped by Falmer. Uh, I've been playing very scary and dead is dead. Yeah, heavy armor builds on dead is dead is a good way to play dead is dead. That's for sure. There's why I brought the novice key and then I brought the... Apprentice key for here. Oh, that's an adept. God damn it. I could have sworn this was apprentice. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. It came all this way. 
We're going to trade. I'm going to take this, give back the one I bought, and then I'm going to pay the difference. Oops, give me my sapphire back. The difference is just like a couple hundred gold. There we go. Mage skills. Um, one perk. We could get fire, but no, 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 no. We need to get depth alteration. I would like. Oh, shit. I guess I could have just done this first. Oh, well. Wow. Okay, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> we could have just done this. Oh, well. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. We didn't need those keys after all. We don't need we don't need knock anymore. We can go back to Raldbathar and open all those chests now. Yeah, I'm either I want to grab both the longer spells and the the mage armor, but I think I think objectively the mage armor perk is better. Um okay, so we need to Add knock. Put M. There we go. And then we need to remove this. Put that there. Perfect. Perfect. God, ghoul. Thank you so much for, for telling me to just go ahead and add this mod. Ugh. It has made my mage experience infinitely better. This might actually allow me to play mage through into like the late game now and not just get absolutely fucking tired of all the hotkeys I have to worry about. So much better. No, the saber. Why is it falling in slow motion like that? That was funny. 625 AR, we chillin'. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Well, all right, so technically, uh, you would probably experience slightly less armor rating. Very slightly, uh, because I buffed Mage Armor 1 and 2 in G-Tweaks, and subsequently had to slightly buff Mage Armor 3, but uh, did not touch Mage Armor 4 or 5, I believe. Actually, no way, I did, but I think I made them slightly worse. I don't know. I scale. I basically looked at mage armors one through five, and I just did better scaling on them. Used on an archer too. It's nice to have all different ammo. Oh, dude, ghoul, you are a genius. But yes, getting the fifteen magic resist would be fantastic right now, um, because I really don't want to wear a magic resist necklace now that I'm thinking about it. Also, I forgot to read my destruction book that I had. Oops. Guess we might as well wait till after we level to 75. Oh, I wanted to see if I can. Bam. Yeah, so now we have like 35% resistance to arrows, which is sick. That is a game changer. Pop another level after Mistwatch? Yeah, let's do it. We could do Mistwatch and then... I don't, do we even really need to go for Peerless Jewelry? Um, Let's go do Mistwatch. All right, we're going to do Mistwatch. And then... Um... I kind of want to kill Thunder while I'm over here. I'm not going to lie. That sounds scary, though. But we can summon the Frost Atronach and then just hit him with Snow Spumes. Go. 
because getting Thunder's Heart would be nice because we're going to we're going to go do Mist Watch and then I'm going to go back to Real Bathar, open up the chests that we missed out on uh, and then uh, we're going to go do Forsaken Cave, get Ring of Pure Mixtures, uh, you know, get the cracked white file, turn that in. I played it for a few hours, uh, Starfield, and I mean, I just haven't gotten far enough to determine like how interesting it really can be, but it didn't really feel like a good game to stream, to be honest. Anyway, maybe you'd for sure get another one from this watch. Yeah. Could do what with... Oh, yeah, you could do it with poisons, too. Oh. Letter from the Jarl. It's not a bad idea to hunt a few mysterious chests if you get the MR perk and uh, college necklace. Maybe we'll do Sunderstone early. The question is, should we kill Thunder? If we're going to fight Thunder, I'd like to do it during the daytime, though. Oh, actually, you know what? Forgot. I have my player home. You can try Thunder from atop a Mistwatch. Ooh, okay, we'll do that then. That sounds like a good idea. Um, okay, our carry weight's good. All right. I was going to clap you, though, and then no more mage build. True. If we decide to stop playing it, that is. <laughs> it's permadeath. One life. Meaning, when I die IRL, then I can't play them anymore. No, if we get from a safe distance, we can summon uh, one of our Frost Atronachs. And then uh, hit him with Snow Spumes. Because our Frost Atronach, being immune to Frost, probably won't get mad at us for getting hit by the AoE, right? I usually see saber cats on this road, so we're going to play it a little bit safe. So what, if you kill thunder, you don't have to play blood magic build. <laughs> yeah, okay, that sounds good. Sounds fair and reasonable. I think this is the way we need to go. Uh, yes. I love this map mod that La La Land uses. Okay, now we can take... I think we can take Mammoth Steak now, because it lasts a while. And then Baked Potatoes. Yeah, Ritual Blood Mage is insanely strong. Never should have come here. Ah! Oh, no. ah! Ah! <laughs> 
It's crazy. At this point in the game, we are so much tankier than if we were to just wear light armor. It's stupid. Light armor is laughably bad. I'm too used to Starfield jumping <laughs> from my little time playing it. I want to jump like I'm in Starfield. Not only is our armor rating just so much better, it's just that our arrow protection is better. I think wearing a full set of light armor should give arrow protection similar to how heavy armor does, but just to a lesser degree, maybe. It should be set up so that wearing the the full set... Um, you weren't kidding about the booze, were you? Wearing the full set uh, gives you... Wearing the full set of the same armor type gives you the arrow reduction bonus, I think. I think that'd be fair. I haven't even gotten to the point about the, the jet the, to the, use the jetpack yet. I've literally only made it to the starting area where you meet like the constellation group. Okay. Transmute muscles on self. All right, let's re-up everything. Let's recommend that to Florence, a fair idea. Yeah, I think so. Because I feel like, like right now, light armor just feels awful on its own. Like you have to use something else. Oh my god, ghoul. Mage is so much better now. <laughs> Mage quality of life is just insane. <laughs> I couldn't do that faster with all the hockeys I had before. No. I chose the um, cyber runner uh, traits. Hey, who's there? Stendar's mercy. It's my wife. I managed to sneak... Honestly, I had one of the guards drop this key while I hid. I wager it'll come yeah. in handy for me. Please hurry. No, I don't think we need them as perks. I think it'd be better if all armor types got to take advantage of this. Of all uh, materials, I mean. Yeah, Ghoul, good call on on getting the... on the cryomancy perk too. I knew snow spume would be insane. You know, one perk I wouldn't mind having on a mage is it's the dodge perk. I always feel so vulnerable without the dodge perk. Why was that about to let me try? Hmm. Yeah, this will be a good shot, good spot to shoot uh, thunder from. I do take dodge from mages so I can get unarmored. Oh, yeah, we should get unarmored perk, actually. That's a good call. Yeah, that's something we'll definitely we'll definitely get at some point. After this, after we do all the things we're looking to do, we really need to we really need to go sell some shit. Because once you become vampire, like, you can just spam dodge. I thought you were, like, supposed to talk to her. I guess not. No talking to her now, she's dead. I 
Ah, ghoul, did you put this here? Wind struck creatures, undead, and other people. If any percent chance to attack anything nearby. Nevertheless, receive everything as they truly disdain hateful. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is that an F tweaks thing, or is that a ghoul thing? I, oh, that was your guy? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> did you send me to your dungeon, or not your dungeon, but to get killed by your enemy? Is that what you did? I forgot. <laughs> That's funny. Cool weapon, though. I like that. Oh, dude. I gotta try... I'm gonna... Oh. Whenever I do my uh, Debella spell sword, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go for this weapon. This would be, like, a cool, like, try to do this early game on a melee build. Because that'll just kind of, like... Like, if my uh, illusion spells wear off, and then I hit him with that, and then it's, like... It just kind of feels cool to, like, do it, like, with a theme... I literally just uh, took you on a path. I did on my current mage. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is this is a good path. I like the. I like. If anything, I might start in Dawnstar. Uh, next time. And then, because uh, I think it'd be a little more interesting to try to fight those bandits um, with a novice destruction. And then once you, then you get twenty-five destruction. Then go do Winterhold Sarthal, and then down to. Uh, wind, uh, wind helm, and then at that point, the world is your oyster. I thought you said there was a. I guess there were a few chests. Never mind. Expecting some more. An enchant is random, but it helps the large crowds. You use some aggro break. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Oh, I didn't take a fortify health. I suppose I don't need to now. All right, Snowback. Who was Fiola? How do you know that name? Krister? He's here? The fool I left didn't take much to prove my and it won't end here. I'd die before I went back. I should just kill you and be done with it. I don't know. But don't kill him. I don't hate the man. I just want him to go back to his farm and forget I'll try... Him. I'll try getting him to leave. This is pointless. I should just kill you and be done with it. Take my wedding band. The ring itself is worth a few bits. Keep it as thanks for cutting off the last vestige of an unwanted fate. Oh, that's where you get that item. I always wondered where that came from. That's cool. Ooh. I didn't expect to see you again. I haven't done. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> what the fuck? You gotta give me a chance, bitch. Sheesh. Adding to light armor, very low movement speed buffs. Oh, she has an enchanted cuirass. Well, it's heavy armor, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, well, shit. You know what? Fine. We'll kill her. Ghoul wants us to kill her. Ice. <laughs> what happened to the sound? Ah, uh, poison. Okay, cool. And an enchanted weapon. Oh, just letting you know about the gear here. Well, she's dead now. <laughs> R.I.P. Also, insights. So, it's worth killing her. Uh, mage skills. Restoration. 
Oh yeah, there's the level. So we go Magicka. Get magic resistance. We go up to 36 magic resist. That's really nice. We just need the other elements now. I need to go buy some spells too. Did I just hear like a fire bolt or something? Come my way. Three enchanted pieces in a boss room, one enchanted light helmet in the lower first hour. Plenty of things. Gotta tell homeboy he killed his wife. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, she she attacked me. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I didn't know what to do. Only five more for shot resistance. Yep, exactly. Uh, a conjurer? Okay. So I guess there was a conjurer in the distance that <laughs> died or something? I don't know. That's funny. I'm curious. I, I'm pretty sure we have the range to hit this. Oh, we do not do damage to him. I honestly thought we would do more damage. I'm not going to lie. At least he doesn't regen. Oh, that's the conjurer on the Atronach stone. Gotcha. Oh shit. I think we just put ourselves in danger. Do not go back inside. He might follow you now. Oh god, that'd be terrible. Uh-oh. Bruh. No, that ain't I ain't I ain't doing that. I was more so curious if we could hit him from that distance. But after seeing how much damage I did to him, I was like, yeah, it's not even worth doing this. <laughs> That's just stupid. The Skyrim hitboxes for you. It's not worth it. It's only five percent more with his uh thunder's heart so it's not even worth like even chancing if anything i was just more so uh trying to see if we could actually hit him from that distance i mean if i didn't have to recast my transmute muscles there we would have been fine we could have kept doing it but it's not even worth the reward that you get What news? Why isn't Fiona with you? Exactly, Cooler, exactly. Her men I have to move on if I want to find her. Please no sign of her. take the coin Oops. I promised. Blessings of Stendar on you. I will find you, Fiona. He didn't give me any coin. The fuck, man? Where's my coin? Oh, can we actually can we dual cast this now? Oh, damn. Are we ever gonna be able to dual cast this shit? 
Okay, so we were gonna do. Huh. Wait, why did I just get her wedding band again? The fuck? I don't know. I'm confused. Um, if we wore this, we could actually <laughs> we could actually dual cast. That's funny. Now let's see here. We were going to do Forsaken Cave. I think Forsaken Cave's next, right? I think that's what we're going to do. And then maybe we can try and see if Mars Eye is even possible to even go inside. <clears throat> yeah, that, that was also one of those moments where we were stuck because I was trying to open Wheeler and get to get to my transmute muscles. But I do need to... I mean, what I should have done if I was going to even attempt that is I should have went and dumped off of all my stuff and then come back to trying to fight him. Stop by the college for the necklace. Might be a good idea. At least we have a bunch of stuff we can sell, so when we go back to the college, uh, we can buy some spells and sell some stuff, too. Okay. If we did a Fortify Magicka, we could, uh, we could cast. We, we'll go do Forsaken Cave first, because I still have Mammoth Stake active. Uh, we have Magicka 2, actually, so... So even if we don't get the Magic Resist Necklace, we're still in a pretty good spot for fighting vampires. Probably a frost troll or something. Wow. Guess ice wolves have frost resistance. Makes sense to me. Oh, you know what we should do actually? This is cheesy. This is pretty cheesy. But we don't have, like, a dead set ring right now. I really do like our necklace, though. A little cheesy with it. We could legit do all giant bounties now, too.
We could safely kill all giants. Have no issues. Get a bunch of greater souls that way. Um, this might count as a murder, actually. Hold on, I need to test this. Nope, it doesn't. Uh, I missed a C. Ooh -hoo. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Cheesy? I know. Effective? Very. Maybe I should rely on uh, veggie soup then to get the extra 20 stamina from it and then uh and then wear the the ring Make some good fortify health potions with their toes. Could also make some good stuff with, uh, Mammoth heart as well. Actually, what is a mammoth's resistance? Where do you go? Actor values. Frost, no fire resist, just frost resist. At least they're a nice, big, easy target to hit. Yeah, if only we could grind those uh, tusks down. We make some really good stamina potions with those. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> What's gonna be the first? Besides destruction, I think alteration to 75 is probably next most important. And then restoration. Yeah. Oh, but they're so good. All, everything is so good. 
because uh, getting Illusion to 60 would be good to get Shadow Simulacrum. Since we're not going... Uh, if you're not going Conjuration, I really like going 60 Illusion early on. Fuck it, we're just going to go all Destruction. Destruction 75 comes first. Okay. We weren't kidding about wolves being a pain in the ass. Wolves are brutal. That was scary. I should have set up a rune. Undead are still a little difficult. <sighs> I thought fire would do a little bit more, but that's fine. We don't have the, the 60 perk in fire. I think fireball just feels underwhelming compared to what we're used to with... Uh, snow spume. It's not that it's bad, it's just compare comparatively. The main problem with mage is there's too many good things that you want. Makes it hard to prioritize. Yeah, it was so brutal. That's why I think a uh, big one would make actually a hard boss. Yeah, definitely. I think did I already cast this? I don't remember if I did. Look pretty badass. I do say so myself.
Oh shit, I put that way back there. Well, if we need to. I probably am better off using... Apprentice spells. Just because uh, fireballs meant for AOE. Man, mage utility. It's too fucking good. That was going to happen. Maybe runes aren't the best idea in here. Firebolt, definitely the way to go. <laughs> so much faster. Yay, my favorite Draugr coins. I was like, where's that shout coming from? big guy.
shit, I accidentally woke up the other one. Oh my god. Are you serious? No fucking way. Get this shit out of here. I cannot believe she had that perk. That was terrifying. We need some frost resistance. God damn. I even have stamina too. Take a fortify health. We got him. Uh, I think she did swing at me. I just don't think it was a power attack. I'm pretty sure she did hit me while I was down. Now we just wait for regen. And then we cast one of these bad boys right here.
Big boy is doing exactly what I wanted him to do. think about that. This should work. There we go. Teamwork, make that dream work. Da 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 da. Ash rune. Isn't that an alteration spell? Ooh. Probably worthless. I don't know. Is this any good? Mobilizing them in hardened ash for 20 seconds. Hmm. Oh my god, that's costly. I kind of want to try that out. Uh, do you think two-handed greatsword alternative for Blade of Fury build would be viable? Uh, it wouldn't be nearly as good, I feel like. But um, fast attack greatswords isn't bad. Your best option is Ebony Blade in its current state. Major destruction. We already have... Uh, a good destruction one though we don't need destruction um i do want to put this on um but first i want to get rid of ice wind dark vision absorbing grasp and fire sparks i'll put it up here and then There we go. Uh, you can use ash rune at narrow paths so entire groups get stuck yeah uh, it it seemed based on its description it actually sounds pretty good but sometimes i wonder maybe just dual cast uh fire rune is better just to kill everything Okay, we have a perk. I think it's time we finally start getting restoration, though. I need to get some healing, man. Healing, 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 healing would be good. Um, but at the same time, 50% longer duration on alteration spells does sound really nice. I'm dropping another five-hour stream like it's not a... Just playing while I'm having fun. Stream ends when I'm not having fun. Or if I gotta go. Allows three active runes instead of one. Uh, yes, this is the NG profile. Hmm, maybe I should go for rune mastery. Hmm, 
we go buy two rune spells? I think I might do that, actually. That actually sounds pretty OP. Because then I could have, like, a frost rune, a fire rune, and an ash rune. Oh, we need to test. Let's see here. Do we finally have enough? Oh my god, we still don't have enough to dual cast this? 181, 360? Aw, oh, we're so close. We're so close. Yeah, use it while fleeing too, yeah. Seems pretty good. We do have a bunch of bounties to turn into. Set up rune of mortality, followed up by two runes for maximum damage. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know if you saw Ghoul, but I got the Ash rune from the mystery chest. So I'm kind of curious to see about how well that works. I wonder what enemies it doesn't work on. Sounds pretty good. Like, give you a chance to get your magic regen going. Right, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go let my dogs out. I shall return shortly. dogs out for uh, general mages and Falmer. Ooh, I didn't even think about using it against Falmer. Yeah, that sounds really handy, especially against like fast enemies. Y'all saw it coming. Who let the dogs out? I let the dogs out. We need to get feather falling too. All right, time to get all of our rewards for doing all these quests. Fine work. Here's your pay. Don't spend it all on me. I really need to set up a freaking uh what do you call it? A uh blacklist for all the cod and everything that Smart Harvest collects. It collects it because I have animal parts turned on, so that I'll pick up like the alchemy fish while they're swimming. All right, so we'll go turn in all these quests. Then we're gonna go back to the college to buy a bunch of spells and then sell off all the shit we have. I think this is the plan. Oh, uh, pretty crazy that between just doing Dawnstar, Winterhold, and Windhelm, you can get to like level 15. Um. I think the alchemy boost should be changed from having Thunder's Heart to finishing the white file. Like, completing the white file should give you the alchemy boost. Not Thunder's Heart. Have it do something else. Have Killing Thunder Some be something else Excellent. completely. Excellent. I don't know why Thunder is associated Excellent. with alchemy. Grew up here. 
Heard there were Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Oh, we're almost 50 restoration. Travel safely. I'll be seeing some complaints about this Giordano. Yeah, had we done the uh had we done the last couple I think there was like what well, yeah two if we had done the last two bounties, it'd be level fifteen. Alright. Oh, we gotta go turn in White file quest. Get even more gold. Really, the only thing we need now is just Got frost and shock resist. And alchemy region. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. And we could get mm -hmm. frost resistance from going vampire. How did you? Ma Here's for your trouble. I want to thank you for your help. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to tend to narrate. Then we just have to worry about shock resist, which you don't see shock as much, so it's not one. It's not an element I'm usually worried about getting uh, resistance to all the time. Okay, uh, I believe it's time to go back to Winterhold now. Spend some of this money that we got. I want to get feather falling. Uh, I want to get the two rune spells. Is that about it? <laughs> Might be it, actually. I'm trying to think if there's any other spells I want to grab. Okay, let's go grab all of our crap. Cooking up some mage gameplay. Um, okay. Doing some fire frost mage. Mirabel is a f So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Um, oh, she has Fire Nova and Fire Shock already. <laughs> All right. I want... Ice Rune. Oh my god, 5,000 gold. These are so expensive. I also don't have speech investment, so that doesn't help. Oof. Ice Rune. Lightning Rune. Damn. Didn't even get close to making my gold back either.
Oh shit, those cost more though. So I can't dual cast it yet. Ooh, I could if I wear this ring. Damn, we need to go, uh... We need to go vampire. Good lord, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Alright, I think it's time... To do Mara's Eye Pond. Um, I don't know where Tolfdir is right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tolfdir might still be in Sarthal. I'm going to need all of the uh, Magicka so I can dual cast this rune. Actually, I don't know is, is, if dual casting this rune is, is the way to go. I got more stuff to sell. I can go back to Windhelm. Everyone says Jorl and Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. Take a look. Friend Brunwald, how good to see you. If you see anything you like, just let me know and I'll be glad to offer you a discount. That's not Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come Anyone see me. Uh, yeah, we have the staff of Jirik Golderson, Golderson, and then we have a staff of... Uh... Frost Atronox that we've been using. Need some metal? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. If you meet anyone in your travels who needs good steel, send them my way. I don't know oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Mm. Oh, we do have these. Those are nice. Uh, I don't think we're going to be using any of these oils, actually. Thank you for your custom. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy regions. Oh, Last yeah. Rune of Mortality is the one that prevents healing, right? Yeah, it sounds pretty good for Dragon Priests. Until next time. Uh, let's see here. Right, we've got everything sold that we want sold. Do we just try and run lowers damage resistance and suppresses healing. And when dual cast it, it lowers enemy MR. Jeez, that's crazy. That's the level 75 uh, spell, right?
Yeah, expert destruction. Yeah, expert destruction sounds pretty crazy. Makes me kind of want to read the destruction books now. We have five to read. But we can we can do content with we could just go do a bunch of Falmer dungeons, honestly. Um let's see here. Come and browse my fine selection. Fresh fruit and vegetables for the air, knives and other goods for the home. All at reasonable. Let's see if we can go to Mara's Eye without having crashing issues. I'm gonna approach it from the south, maybe it's a little bit better. Yeah, I'm a dark elf. I think at some point, probably just need to look at getting to Blackreach as soon as possible. I think once we have 75 alteration, definitely Blackreach is where we want to go. I want to get... Um, Oh, the only problem is with visiting this place from the south is that's when you get the issue with the house being in the way. Um. What was I going to say? Uh. With all these perks that we need, I want to get Ogma and Finium. Oh, we could go do some black books, actually. We could do we could do Waking Dreams. I wonder how well our Dunmer War holds up against uh, Seekers, though. Yeah, the magic wheel is nice. Yeah, it's no longer 50. It used to be 50. I thought it was 25, but Ghoul said 30 earlier, so I guess maybe it got slightly buffed, or maybe I just remembered wrong. Only problem with it is using this fire rune, I feel like I'm just gonna gimp myself. It was lower original, I believe it got buff. Gotcha. Oops, I used the wrong Fortify Health. I wanted to use this one. That's okay. Um, I only have, what, one potion effect, right? Kind of annoying that they don't follow you out, honestly.
should have come here. I can easily make something for that. I mean, kind of. I think it's silly that they don't. And look at that. We didn't even get it either. Rip. Rip, 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 rip. We're going to have to count on... Uh, we're going to have to count on... Um, Felglow. I'm assuming NPC vampires are also weakened by the sun, right? Yeah, I reckon we may have done it because they got debuffed by the sunlight. Yeah. Hey, where's the dead vigilant that's usually in here? It's like always a dead vigilant. Oh, he might have resurrected him. Ooh, glass mace of blizzards. This, these enchantments are useless, to be honest. Oops, I didn't mean to. Oh, this is worth picking up to sell. Yeah. Tried resurrecting him. Ah, uh, we were looking for... Uh, the blood files to become vampire. Uh, the good thing is, though, we did get vampire dust, so that's always a plus. Oh, we have four already, too. We only need one more. We just need one blood conserving file and. I thought there was something else in here. Nothing much, but it's something. Mm. Uh. I really wanted to go vamp before going to uh, Felglow, though. Just because of the, uh, the frost resist. Mm, maybe I'll be fine. Um, let's see here. Felglow is over this way. Uh, yeah, our Blade Fury build, yeah, we did die. We died a couple times, actually. Name is fun build. Yeah, I'd like to get three perks right now. I want my next three perks to be in restoration. I need a more reliable way to heal myself quickly. I want three perks because I want the healing magnitude spell.
Just minor archery. At least we could do uh, giant bounties for more gold. That's honestly, that's probably the thing to do with the mages is just do a bunch of giant bounties for uh, insights and then um, for giant toes so you can make some fortify health potions. What's up, Wildy? And then uh, should we do Valheim? Should we do it for the why the fuck not reasoning? Had more fortify health potions. What happened to those? Oh, there's one right here. Um, baked potatoes is up. We'll just wait for magic regen. Uh, my carry weight buff won't be uh, necessary anyways. What the fuck is this wheel? It's the most amazing thing in the world. It's called Wheeler. Highly recommend setting it up. Bro, snow spume is redonkulous. I need to make more magic potions so I could just like regen insane. Oh, here comes Elsie. Classic mage fashion. You're just in time to say hello. Probably one of the easiest Valheim runs I think I've ever had. Um, somewhat. Uh, ghoul, ghoul Smasher was here, luckily, and helped me. Uh, set it up because he's familiar with it um, but once I did it I was like yeah okay this isn't too bad I'll give a, uh, a quick like miniature tutorial So if you go to the the mod page, you'll see that it has a requirement for D menu. So you need to install that. It's all just SKSE plugin. Um, so it's uh, you can like save to add at any point, remove at any point. Uh, let me just finish looting this place. Um. Hmm. 
<laughs> cool, are you around? Uh, hold on. I'll, I'll show you real quick. I'll show you real quick. Because now that I've done it, uh, I think it's pretty easy. Okay. So, first things first, you download D menu, and then you go download Wheeler, and then they have skins and stuff that you can get. Um, but uh, you hit F12. That's the that's the key that it's set up for. Uh, which for me, that's my screenshot. So I'm always screenshotting when I do this. But what it is, what it is. Uh, I I just have to go and change it. And then um, with with this open, uh, you want to go to mod configuration and go to uh, where is it? It was Wheeler Styles. Effects. Yeah, yeah. So Wheeler Styles effects right here. Highly recommend turning the slow time part off because it'll it'll slow time while you're using it. So you just change it and then hit save down here and then you can get out of this. Uh, but then once you're once you're in in game. We were actually talking about that earlier, uh, Wildy. Uh, once you're once you're in game, you just go to your spells so like I want to add mage armor, I hit X and then this brings up the menu. So initially you're not going to have any thing on here. It's just going to say like nothing. You just hit M and M will add a slot and then N will actually add M as in mom will add a slot N as in Nancy will actually add another wheel. And if you hit Q, it switches between the meals of oh, meals, the wheels. Um, but if you don't want this other wheel, you just uh, just right click. It'll get rid of it. If you right click on a on a spot uh, like this, it'll get rid of it. And if you right click on the actual empty one, it'll actually completely get rid of this completely right like that right there. And so if you like like again, so you hit uh, oops, hit M and then you can left click to add it on here. But I don't want this on here, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And I don't want to add this, so I'm just going to right click, get rid of that. And then you just hit X to get out of it. Uh, and then you can just hit X once and you can, you know, pick your stuff. You can just right click, left click, whatever hand you want it in, just as if you were in your menu. Um, but if you actually hold down X, then once you let go of X, it'll go away, which is what I like. So that's super, super handy. All right, restoration 50. Now it's time for illusion. Actually, I should probably level speech. Yeah, Wheeler is insane. Uh, I'm never going to be able to play without this mod again. Ooh, two levels. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay, okay. Two levels means we can finally get some healing going. Holy shit. Uh, give me healing aura on self and heal self one. And then also means that we can get um, enhanced constitution on self. And heal self too. So here I'll show you again. Um, so yeah, you can bind potions, but apparently it's a bit uh, glitchy. So or maybe just weird. Um, I would recommend just using uh, Swift Potion NG for that. Um, hey, hey Reed, uh, some of those hotkeys uh, might be my edits from settings I have. Oh, just for the X wheel and the F12 for DMNU, but both are easy to edit in DMNU. Gotcha, I didn't realize that. Well, highly recommend Ghoul's uh, edits as well, which I'm sure he wouldn't mind say, uh, sharing with you. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of these new spells. So I want to add... Uh, I want to add a heal... Healing Aura on self. So I'm actually going to do something different. I'm going to add a new wheel altogether. And we're going to add it to this one. I 
I'm going to make this like the I want to use these in combat wheel. So I'm going to take off knock two or at least like my my pre buff. Like I want to quickly pre buff these. Um, I want to experiment with ash rune. So we'll leave that on there. I wish there was an easier way to like rearrange these. Um, heal self that that's actually just going on my favorites menu um, enhanced constitution on self this one's going to go in this menu and then did I accidentally take off mage armor I think I did oops Damn it, I keep doing this. I keep left clicking when I meant to right click. Yeah, I'm only using a uh, wheeler for like spells and stuff. So we got Shadow Cloak, Mage Armor, Ice Rune. So I'm just wondering, maybe I do just add... Ant's Constitution on self. Dang it, why do I keep doing that? I keep thinking I need to, to right-click it for some reason. I'm just stupid. Let me do healing aura on self. I'm going to put this on here after all. And then I'll just do that. There we go. This isn't too bad. Oh, I should have tried using my ash rune. Beats having to use my mouse keypad for spells. Yeah, I well, I also have um, the Razor Naga mouse that has like the 12 hotkeys on the side. So that part's not too bad for me. All right, let's not forget what we were actually doing. Oh, actually, hold on. Yes, I can finally dual cast transmute muscles. Huzzah. Come on. Come on, terrain. Let me do it. Let me up here. I want to be difficult. Uh, it's just like the same way if you were to have your menu open, you just click on them. So like when you right click, it puts it in your uh, left hand, left click, right hand. Just as if you were to like enter your spells menu and put them on. 
It only lasts for eight minutes, though. That's annoying. I think fire rune will be better once we get inside. Um, we don't care about baked potato. But we don't have another one anyways. What's up, James? Yeah, I think we'll do fine against mages. Bro, he just got deleted. Ice spheres. Not bad. Showing you guys the the tricky strat, the technique. You come here before you start it with the quest for the college. You can go inside this door, kill a couple mages, and get uh get a key so that you can come back here and do it the quick way next time. Corsair twelve and around. It's but it's not intuitive really. Dude, I've tried, I've tried the other, uh, mice. Oh, I gotta, I'll be right back. Hold on. Sorry about that. I'm back. Spume is so much better, yeah. Uh, whole dungeon resets so you need to college quests. So. Ooh, yeah. That's that's a good point. I never thought about that. Frost Salt, Briarheart? Fuck yeah, dude.
Oh yeah, spume is definitely broken. Spume too OP. It's too fast. Can I backtrack to the point where the vampires are now, actually? Wait, so I just came from. Well, this is scary. This is how you die. Hold on, I'll be right back. God damn. I was talking about earlier, someone like must have used my number by accident for like a listing for a rental or something in uh Oh, is that a filled soul gem? Damn it. We need a we don't even have a freaking effigy yet, guys. We need to get that the soul gem filled. We just need to get uh the spell. Soul trap. And we can go kill a giant easily. Easily. But I keep getting fucking calls about this. It's driving me nuts.
bitch. I hear, I yield, I yield, and I come out there. Ain't nobody fucking yielding. Man, this is scary. Really need to get the next. Uh, uh what do you call it? Uh, the healing, the better healing perk. Flame Atronach staff. I like that. I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. Oh, look. Cool. Um, well, we know we can do it easily now, so it's not like we need to go to the, where the vampires are. I need to get out of here before my uh, carry weight ends. Actually, you know what? I'll just go drop all my shit off. Why does it sound like there's a fucking skeever in my house? What the fuck? Oops. That is disturbing, to say the least. I need to stop dungeoning without, uh, with all my gold.
can't. There we go. Oh, this is where the vampires are. on mage violence. Looks like the vampires are here, yes. Oh, did I put, uh, oh, I didn't. I need to put, um, knock on again. I guess they're alive whenever you come through with the, uh, with the quest? That's kind of weird. Are you still here, ghoul? That's pretty strange. I don't know if you've ever seen that before. Aha! We got it. Yeah, they're alive during the quest. We got it. Vampire time. Ooh, more files too. Just what we needed. For the chant, but before quest is best chance for blood potion. Yeah, seems like it. Yeah, we got lucky lucky. Oh yeah, we already went to the we went to the cages first. We didn't find any there, so I was starting to get nervous. And then I come out here, and both of these guys had them. Okay, um, where is a good place to go ahead and turn vamp? I guess here's as good as place as any, right? Bunch of graders, too. Ooh, we could read all the books and get 75 destruction now easily. Uh... Yes, another perk. All the chests reset as well. Oh my god, dude, that's insane. <laughs> that's so nice. Mm. 
Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we're going to be at 75 destruction pretty soon then. Um, what's the what's that command? It's like not it's set, like set. How do you set time scale with console commands? I think it's just set time scale, right? Yeah, set time scale two. Okay, perfect. Uh, actually, we need a cook pot. Is there a cook pot anywhere? Close to ready for black reach. Uh, we need to get to seventy five alteration before black reach. But yes, um, fifty. Uh, getting adept. Uh, illusion would be good too, so we can get shadow cloak rank two. SGTM is the set game time, but there's you can set time scale as well, which is what I typically do. What's up, Azrak? I like how as soon as I said get illusion, get adept illusion, Azrak's like I'm here. I heard illusion. Brazen room, anyone? Just kidding. We're so close. Be nice if there was a cook pot somewhere. It's faded. <laughs> it always is. It always is. Um... Yeah, that's all of Fel Glow that we can do right now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the power increase would be the, the, the shock spells, the fire shock spells, ice shock or whatever. Uh, those are really good for single target. I mean, AOE will still be snow spume. Okay. I think we just travel over to white run, honestly. Uh, so just head Southwest. Oh, you know what we should do while we're already over here? We should go do... Shimmer Mist. Yeah, let's do Shimmer Mist. We're already over here. Seems like something Ghoul would do. I'm taking the hard way around.
All right, let's see here. Mage armor on self. Man, I really wish that lasted longer. This is a place I want baked potatoes. Ooh. Why aren't you auto-looting? I want glowing mushroom. You can make fortified destruction with those. You know, realistically, we should have gotten Vampire before coming here. This was pretty stupid to come here before becoming Vampire. Are you here? <laughs> we got the ring of nullification. Oh my god. I kind of want to just cut my losses and leave. Oh, that's so fucking good. That is so funny. It's the one we wanted. Twice now, yeah, that's funny. My game is blessed.
Null bug chain. Bro, we sniped them. This is the final room here, so let's buff up. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna snow spume like a madman. I'm not stupid. So basically, we need to kill the Falmer like as quick as possible. All right, everything else is look. Oh, excuse me. Everything else is looking good. saved. Dude, don't you dare steam breath it. Okay, I think he tripped it. Yeah, he definitely tripped it. Oh, we'll get a we'll get a filled grand soul gem from him. Most likely, I th I think it's guaranteed in this current update or in this current version. We got two. Which means it is F -A G time. Major health, extreme stamina. We already have this. And we have two. Cool.
<laughs> we still gotta make it to White Run. Uh, mage skills. All right, cool. We have uh, we have the book that we need to read, anyways. Thief. Um. So we just got to read the book that we have in our home. And we'll be at uh, 75 destruction. We can grab the expert perk. And eventually we'll start the main quest. I don't know. I, I, I kind of said this earlier, but I feel like the runes was a wasted perk. <laughs> and like by, by time I'm like using the runes and everything and how much they cost and I just use snow, snow spume or fireball or lightning shackles and just be better off. I feel like more often than not. Oh yeah, we need to buy an effigy first, which means we need to visit our home. Because we need our gold. Kajita's wares. Those are good for preparation. Coin. Oh yeah, for the slided? Yeah, I can see that for sure. Hmm, waning shock, huh? Do I want a flame atronach staff? Yeah, that's true. Ice ice rune rank two is going to destroy slighted. Um, I don't think so. I think I'd rather just have a beefy boy take the plus it lasts longer. Yeah, I'd rather have the beefy boy take aggro. Oops, I just sold my extreme health. Um, that's okay. I don't think we were going to really use it anyways. Because we're going to be using Ring of Nullification. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Alright, so with Ring of Nullification... Plus mage armor. So this loads up. Looking at a crisp 59 magic resistance. It's exactly what we wanted to see. Um, I was, I was going to say, should we go fight Red Eagle first? But I don't think, uh, I don't think his necklace is what we want to wear. Necklace of Fury. I don't think that's it. 
I think we'll be fine without it. But we must have more the finest weapons and armor. Soldiers. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Uh, Fresh baked loaves, still warm from the oven. Need uh, need a cook pot. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. I don't know why I did this. I have a cook pot at home. Okay. We don't currently have a perk available to us, which is a little sad. Foolish old woman. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, no, our suffering. I know your family's honor is important. You tried mercenary work? But we can't afford it. Might suit you. It took me weeks to find that thief's death. I can't I serve. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Let's see, Farngar have any Come spells we want? Hmm. I had you figured. Actually, yeah, I want Feather I think Falling. You'll appreciate this. Oh, actually, no, we don't need it. Never mind. Um. I was going to say we could buy Soul Trap, but we don't actually need it. Remember, your mind is the best weapon you have. Oops. Okay. Feather Falling. M. <laughs> there we go. Our menu's getting a little full now. Because now we can do water walking, too. Let's see, I need a quiet place to become a vampire, but then also have uh, enemies that I can go and kill quickly after becoming said vampire so that I can fill up my blood files. I think we'll go vampire, uh, and then we'll... Should we continue college quest or main quest? College or main?
That's true. We do get additional mag magic regen from main quest. That's a good point. So yeah, we should do some main quest then. Good point, Tacit. Uh. Oh, you know what we can do for funsies? Oh, shit. Never mind. I was going to say we could do the runes. But, uh, I thought opening the chest triggered them, not just unlocking it. So, my bad. Almost level us up. Oh, they did level us up. Which expert destruction spell should we get? I'm thinking... Ice Shock and Fire Shock, probably. Oh, no, no, no. I want Fire Nova. Fire Nova and Ice Shock. Fire Nova for sure. And then probably Ice Shock. Yeah. Dude, this is going to be the easiest Bleak Falls barrel run of my life. Oh, I can't dual cast it. Feather Falling is about to run out. Mage Armor on self. I just realized I don't even have any food buffs up or anything. Yeah, it is probably time for a second wheel. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take like the rune spells and stuff off. Uh, honestly, I think I can take frost astronaut cloak off. Some of these don't need to be on the wheel. Like I can just access them from my favorite menu, I think. And that would be just as fine.
I'm gonna have to change my fucking phone number, I bet. That's annoying. Okay, what's my timer on everything? What do I have up right now? Or what do I have on stream stamina? I wish that did more. Well, not more, but I mean, it's a really good spell, but I need more protection before I can just run in and start doing shit like that. Fuck off, please. Just stick to the classics here. Oops. It's, uh, the mod's called Wheeler. I'm gonna have to readjust my Wheeler here soon, though. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm just clearing out a uh, halted stream so that I can uh, go ahead and become vampire. And then uh, when I leave, I can go do. Uh, um, what's it called? Um, Silent Moons and get uh, blood files. Really hoping for a surpassing. Well, I guess I don't need food anymore. Oh, it means I don't get uh, I don't get my baked potatoes anymore. Ooh, grand soul gem. Oh, I forgot to make my effigy. Oops. That's okay. Uh, it's under food. Set time scale to 1000. Boom. We are now vampire. Excuse me. Uh, which means we can wear this. Uh, we're stage four currently. care about any of that. Mm. Uh, it's probably time to declutter my wheel. So we're going to take... Oh yeah, hold on. I need to do it from this menu here. We're going to take this one off. This one off. Um, we don't need enhanced constitution anymore. Healing aura on self. Yes, we'll keep that on. Knock, I'm going to put on my actual favorites menu. 
Feather Falling will keep. Ice Shock, Ice Spume, or Snow Spume. Ash Rune? Um, I don't really care about it. Frost Atronach, I'll put there. Okay. Yeah, these are the main spells. Damn it, what did I just take off? I think I took off Mage Armor. Yeah. Let me go get Mage Armor. Uh, actually, I wouldn't mind having the runes on here, now that I think about it. Um... Okay. I just like having snow spume on the bottom since that's where I'm familiar with where it's being. I'm going to take fire nova off and fire rune off and I'm going to move those around. I'm going to put that up here and then fire nova I'm going to put down here. And then I'm also going to put Ice Shock right here. There we go. So... Things I took off. Let's see here. I still have Healing Aura on Self, Shadow Cloak. Um, we're going to put this back on Favorites menu. If we need to get to it quickly, we can. Um, take that off Favorites menu. Don't need a lot of these. Get rid of those. We've only got one elixir of blood, but we have four files. So we just need to go kill some shit. Uh, I don't really need a dagger anymore, so we're good on that. Uh, yeah, cool. I think we are good. That crazy movement speed we got right now. Um, oh, actually, I do want one of those. Now we're extra resistant to arrows. Uh, it's really nice being able to go into. Well, that's not even going to work anyways. Uh, I was going to say, it's really nice. Oh, excuse me. Going into uh, Black Reach with rank four vamp or stage four vampire. Honestly, yeah, I think we are Black Reach ready because of that. Oh, yeah, I was going to put uh, this on here as well. Oh, we still can't dual cast this? Are you kidding me? Can't even double cast it. That sucks. We also have spell power boost right now. How much damage does this do? Absurd. Oh, we could cast it if we went with Sorcerer's Effigy. How did you live?
Damn, that explosion is huge. See here, vampiric drain. We gotta try out vamp drain. This is the nerfed vampire already, by the way? What do you mean by nerfed vampire? Vampire didn't get nerfed. Can't wait to count out your coin. Don't get away with that. I don't need all these potions. What's up with my resistances right now? That's not right. I shouldn't have a hundred frost resist and negative 75 fire resist. Okay, something was definitely bugged the fuck out right there. Uh, that's not confirmed, Tacit, but it'd be nice. We still have a fucking novice hood on. That's so funny. Freshly fed your weakness. Let's see here. It's one way to tell. I need to get hit by something. Something's wrong. Okay, yeah. We're good. Fill up all my files? Looks like it. We have five files. Ah, cool. Looks like that one has the same explosion data that lets us, uh. 
break chests open as well. Yeah, Fire Fire Nova is gonna make going through Bleak Falls Barrow a joke. Um, this is the this is the downside to playing as a vampire, though, having to deal with darkness all the time. Also, with no more baked potatoes, it means we're stuck at 525 armor rating, which is why we need to work on getting um, alteration to 75 now. I think Sorcerer's F with our region being as crazy as it is right now and how crazy it's going to get, uh, Sorcerer's Effigy definitely seems like the best way to go. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Bellathor, you have no idea <laughs> the power that I wield. Oh my god. We're gonna be decimating them. Alright, yeah, let's go do uh let's go do Bleak Falls. Oh yeah, we haven't done any traveling over in this direction yet, so this is all fresh. Fresh ground to cover. Only thing that sucks is that main quest isn't really going to give us a. Uh, isn't really going to give us a lot of greater insights right now. What's going to be the best necklace for us to wear? Savos Aaron's amulet, maybe? I can't remember. What does Savos Aaron's amulet give? See, this is why we should be doing college quest line, because we're going to get better gear. Uh, we should go do uh, giant bounties, too. The Amulet of Akatosh might legit be the best. Yeah, it would actually be pretty good once we get through Blackreach right now. I just love how deleted Flame Atronaut gets whenever we kill him. Yeah, once we kill Blackreach Dragon, for sure. 
아. I want to see how much damage this does to the giant. About half. That was actually scary close. Boy, you get blood from... Giants? That's cool. Somehow the dude missed all of my runes. Actually, I just remembered Frost is going to be my most damaging. Man, this, this wheeler menu, ghoul, crazy. So good. Oh, and Sorcerer's Effigy making these even stronger. Insanity. Wait. Did that look like it reset? Huh. I'm not getting my three runes. What the fuck? Oh, that's some bullshit. Well, if that's the case, then I want a refund on this perk. Maybe, maybe remove it and then put it back. Promise they're there. All right, well, we'll, we'll test it. Explode one and you'll see. I'll put one right there. Put one right here. No, definitely not, ghoul. Why did I just go through that animation? Just tested a few updates back. I'll be damned. So I'm going to be removing that perk. And I guess I'm going to be removing the three rune spells. Rune rank two. After becoming a vampire? I don't know why that would... Rune... Rank... Two... Player dot remove spell... Five nine zero oh, six eight eight F nine F A F C 
Oh, did I just remove all of them? Oh, I guess removing the perk removes the spells. Okay. And then, so I'll just give myself a, a perk. Um, the perk I want is... I don't know what would be conflicting with that, though, is the thing. Uh, what perk do I want, actually? I might go ahead and pick up Pyromancy 2. Because if I use the console to pick up this, I'm not going to get to choose the spells, which is kind of annoying. Mm, maybe we just grab stability. I think I'm just going to grab stability. Help. Stability. Four. Perk. Oops. Player dot. Add perk. Five, eight, one, FC. Okay. Help us without having to rebuff so often. Did that work? 13 minutes. That seems like more. Yeah. yeah. That yeah, makes sense, though, because that giant did not get hit by all of those runes. Oh, shit. I need to uh, remove those from my hot menu. Hey, it cleans up my wheeler menu, at least, a little bit. That's fine. I was talking about how I'm not really big on the runes to begin with, so it kind of works out. He's fine. Plus, we're about to level up. Next level, probably going to grab... Uh, I might start grabbing the illusion perks to get to Shadow Shield rank. Uh, Shadow Cloak rank 2 is adept, right? Anybody can confirm, if anybody remembers. Um, Snow Spium, best spell in the game. Go ahead and alert these guys. Doesn't matter because they stand no chance. Yeah, depth. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe we go for that next. Because I think we also get. We get Shadow Shield, which is extra armor rating. So yeah, we should do that. Huh. Shadow Shield, extra armor rating be nice too. We also get Shadow Stride. Ooh, yeah. Shadow Stride is super good. I definitely want Shadow Stride. I want more movement speed. Because right now, I'm like having some scary moments with enemies getting close to me. That I am not too fond of. Although, getting dual cast restoration would be nice too. So I could have some better healing. Does healing aura not work on vampires? What if your stage one it did? Guess it doesn't. So that kind of sucks. Um, a 
Well, that makes my <laughs> my Wheeler menu a little bit easier to manage. Uh, I think I can probably take some of this stuff off and put it back on the Wheeler menu now. Like the, the knock. And the staff. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to take knock off and put... Uh, take the staff off as well. And then put... Um, ideally I'd want it up here. I'll just put it there. And then... Ice Shock can go there. Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot I had the Staff of Frenzy. We need to sell that. Okay, there we go. We Gucci. Oh, I guess maybe we should have grabbed the fire damaging spell. Since we're going to be doing a lot of undead content now. Look at that. just melted him. Mm, dual cast healing or shadow stride? Oh, shadow stride is so nice, though. It's so nice. But dual cast healing is also pretty good. We need dual cast healing. Shadow Stride's definitely next, though. <laughs> oh, joy. Probably don't even need to dual cast. Eh, it would help. Yeah, that's 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 just requiem for you. It's 
such a large area of effect. It's insane. I really should wear my magic resist. Oops. You gotta be careful, because that does not, like, instant kill them. I'm gonna put my nullification on just to be safe. Yeah, it's it's stacking a lot of spell power. I need to start crafting potions. Yeah, I can't I can't dual cast it unless I have the destruction cost ring on. Ooh, greater insights. Don't mind if I do. Uh, speech, mage skills, alteration. A lot of carry weight potions we've been finding. Something just wore off. I don't know what that was. Transmute muscles. Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely need our armor on, that's for sure. I think it's every three main quests that you do this is when you get the uh, you get the magic regen uh, but I really want to do some college quest Really should have fireball. Shadow Stride would have been good. We'd be able to backpedal them a lot easier.
We should put fireball on here. I see how little damage we take from arrows now. I think if we do this, we're going to wake up the big boy. I should probably be careful about doing that. Although... One way to do it. Undying breath necklace. It's definitely not the necklace we're going to be wearing. Okay, that's speech to 48, and now we can work on illusion. Illusion and alteration. Look at that. Over half, we're like three quarter, we're like two thirds of the way to 20 now. I don't know, is there another effigy we'd even want? Sorcerer's effigy is definitely just the best one to go for. Uh, I need to look at um, Skyrim main quest. I need to look at the list. Just finished the major run, had no idea you could bash chests with magic. Yeah, only ones with the explosion data can do that. Three. Okay, so doing that quest should have given us some more magic regen. And then doing... Um, Dragon Rising Way of Voice Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. So recovering the horn should give us another one. After getting Esbern back should give us another. And then uh, getting the Elder Scroll should get us another... And then I think that's the last one. I think that's how it works. We haven't even been to Riverwood, have we? No, we haven't.
Man, I really want Shadow Stride. <laughs> Shadow Stride's gonna be so nice. Being able to sprint everywhere. Much faster. Oh, I forgot to... Um... I forgot to do, uh... The treasure map in Whiterun. Speaking of treasure maps. Yep, we're still on the mage. Level 19, just did Bleak Falls Barrow. We got revenge from the last time we went there. Get a little revenge on uh, treasure map bandit. We're rocking fucking novice hood still, which is hilarious to me. Uh, and then the Juice of Sars robes. I wonder what would be our next robe upgrade. Uh, the extra extra hunter armor rating is really nice still. I don't really want to give that up quite yet. I'm not gonna lie. And going for um. Going for Lua Allscaven's robes is not really that great because... Wise man is always a novice. Lua Allscaven's robes aren't the best because we can't wear a hood. I don't know. I don't think you can wear a circlet either with that. Aren't you worried someone will wonder it? Closer. See, did I hit my mark? Yes, I did. Damn. Hoping to get some insights, some more insights. So close. Grab the treasure map. Ooh, there's also a lot of more at Tapanella. We could make a bunch of uh, magic regeneration potions. Or just restore magic potions, I should say. <laughs> I was like, I forgot to add feather falling on. Mm. 
25 shock resist. Not really that great. You can sell it, but... Not gonna quite level us up yet. Uh, does Riverwood Trader give us uh, insight after Golden Claw, or is it just the 500 gold? Hey boys, what are you doing? Well, one of us has to do something. God, Snow Spume is gonna wreck. I don't know what. An order. I'm gonna put this back where the it first dragon. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Oh, he Can't does give an insight. Give a moment to herself. That's I'm warning you. Enough. Back off. You're not supposed to be. Okay. Guess I won't tell you about the thieves outside then. Oh my god, we don't have a level. Are you serious? Well, we'll get an insight once we turn this into the Jarl. Oh, I just realized we missed out on our free insight from warning the Jarl about the dragon. Actually, wait. How do we do this now? Oh, I think I fucked up. I think I need to go to Helgen. I don't feel like running all the way back over there. We're just going to do it like this. anything that we like completed those out of order I don't think it matters oh yeah we have all these bounties to turn into still There's the one about the blades killed them all sentry. You had best tell the Jarl. Putting my food order in. Oh, 
Mm, put it in for... Let's see, what all can I still get done? I want to kill the first dragon real quick. I'll put in for 815. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go turn this in, go do the first dragon fight, and then we'll be done. Almost an eight-hour stream. Not too bad. Ooh, I just realized you could also use Wheeler to put uh, gear on it. Like if you want to have like a buff gear or something like Ooh. that. Fine. Do some nice things with that. At least we'll get Shadow Stride next. Shadow Stride and I can't remember what else you grab. This next one. I remember Adept uh, is like Shadow Cloak rank two and uh, Shadow Shield. And then you grab Shadow Simulacrum and Shadow Intangibility. All the Shadow spells. My Lord, please. You no were. For rash What's the what meaning of it? I just no. think we need more information before we Lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate. Don't place. like. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irrelevant. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Remember, your mind yes, is the best way grand soul gems that I have. Me. I'll return to my duties. Two and a fill. That would be bad. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and... Your skin dis spells and incantations for those... Hmm? What? Pro... Now. Well, go to Bleak Fall... Ah, the dragon stone of bleak until next time. Shadow stride and none of these out. None of these other ones matter. Just grab and, and raging orb. Baringa, you need to come at once. Actually, hold on. Let the me grab. You should come too. A dragon. How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? Damn it. I was just going to sell right, the other one. This dragon. Seriously, if I were you. This dragon decides to attack White Run. I don't know if we can stop it. Uh, Shadow Stride. Um. Let's go. Let's see here. I guess we can put it right here. So now when we sprint, we go up to 112 movement speed.
Wait. I know you. What? I have a bounty? The fuck did I get a bounty? Wait, how do I have a bounty? But I get a 25 gold bounty from. Means I don't have my Akatosh blessing right now. Well, I'll figure it out in a second. I got mage armor, shadow stride, transmute muscles. Uh, that's about it. Don't need any of these other ones. Wait. Uh, there's no mis good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods. Sound like he took something from me. Black soul gem, heart, human flesh, moon sugar. Okay, whatever. Item stolen zero. Oh, that's just considered contraband. He stole my black soul gem. That's okay. I don't really care. Get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. What's the range on this? Let's save us. Here he comes again. Hello, save us. It's a dragon. Yeah. Wait, is it? Oh my god, it's morning time now. Fuck, man. Didn't realize without fucking dark it is. Ooh, we did a big chunk of damage, actually. Magic region is stunted because we're uh, in daytime. I can't. Oops. Just hit a white run guard. Thing he doesn't get mad. Snow Spume is also really nice for hitting dragons in the air since it's like instant. That right there. This guard got the, the final shot on him. Oops, my hand slipped. Oops, my hand slipped.
play the range battle. Don't just stand there, kill him. Don't just stand there, kill him. What do you think I'm fucking doing, buddy? I said I'd be there at what? 4 Remember, your mind is the best weapon you Rungar, calm yourself. All right. Uh, I feel like this has been a fairly successful stream. So, I guess there's no mage armor rank higher for getting uh, expert locks, is there? Is there a... Or a mage armor. Um, not mage armor. Uh, knock scroll. Knock spells. Is there a knock? There used to be knock three that would do master if you dual cast it. That's a shame. Yeah, I feel like knock two should be single cast adept dual cast expert. But whatever. already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. All right, so we have one more level before we get our final health and magic resistance total. Got some the finest weapons and armor. She has zero gold. She'll buy Axe of White Run for 400 gold. She has one of these, so I'll buy one of those so I can sell Axe of White Run. There we go. Don't forget to check you there. inside the shop. You can leave me out of it this time. I have no reason to go do that. Okay, so we gotta go get all these bounties. Let's go collect all these bounties. I have a minute before I have to leave. I have to leave in about fifteen minutes to go pick up my food order. Um If I stream tomorrow, then we'll be doing college quest line. May the gods watch over. Excellent. 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 You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. So, next perk will grab Adept Illusion. And then we'll focus on getting 75 alteration 
Once we get 75 alteration, we definitely want expert uh, and spell armor. Um, this one's okay. It's not a necessity, but there's definitely two perks we want to grab here. We still need to grab the second fire. I don't know. I might just end up calling this a fucking cryomancer build and just have the one perk in fire to deal with undead. What's removed by F tweaks. Then I have one, two, three, four, four perks that I want to get in restoration still. So Icy Shard, Icy Lance, Wall of Frost, and Ice Storm will paralyze anyone they hit. This is a really good perk. Really good perk. We'll get that once we go to, if we ever make it to um, Dawn Guard DLC, once we go through uh, Soul Cairn, just do Frost Wall. Call all the slided that way. So I've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two in speech. It's fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen more perks to go. Plus we have black books and uh Ogma Infinium to do. And then if I want to do, I don't even think I need to perk into alchemy, honestly. I haven't even leveled it up yet. I honestly forgot that I was going to level it up. I was also going to put some perks into to evasion. I wanted to get unarmored. I don't know. We could just like farm a bunch of black books, I guess. I don't know. What was I going to go grab? I was going to do something, wasn't I? Oh, yeah, I was going to grab the rest of these bounties. Yeah, if we go do... Ooh, I kind of want to get... I kind of want to get Whirlwind Sprint, though. Getting Whirlwind Sprint would be nice. Just to, like, get away from things if they get too close. And then turn around and cast. Knock three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah, but that's because it opened Master Locks. That's why I think Knock 2 should be single cast Adept, dual cast Expert. Why not? Give mages more utility because they need it. That's obviously sarcasm. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted the Greybeards. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Great kill as you All the white blood divines watch on him. Oh, we haven't been to Falkreath yet. So we'll get that at some other point. Would you have me do? We still have Sarthal amulet. I'm hanging on to it for a reason. Oh yeah, we can read this now. Uh, what was I going to check? We can still get well rested as a vampire, right? That's crazy. Um, I feel like I was going to check something. Oh yeah, I was going to check how good of potions we can craft. Twenty six percent less to cast. It's not bad. Twenty eight percent with the uh, with the strong ingredients. I wouldn't really want to use those, to be honest, though. Uh, fortify health. Can make thirty seven. 
Not really necessary. Yeah, we can get a... So 18% less... Hold on, once we have Mage Armor up... We're at 62. We'll be at 63 once we hit level 21. So that would put us down to 55 or 45 without the boots, which is just fine, I think. Uh, we could probably focus on getting, well, I guess obviously Archmage gear would be the best. Um, these gloves are pretty good. It's really just the robes we'd be looking at replacing, if anything, but these, these robes might carry us all the way through. The only other thing we could get would be Let's see here. Uh cleric, which is just an extra hundred armor or magic, I mean. Um corrupted sigic? No. Uh dragon hide? Not bad actually. Uh but no, we want the magic regeneration. Uh, this one would be pretty good, but no. Uh, it's extra 100 Magicka and 225 regen, so our, we're basically sacrificing 100 armor rating for 100 Magicka. Which that's obviously really good, but I don't know. I think, I think I'd rather have the armor rating. I might just wear these robes until, until we get mage armor, or, uh, uh, master. And if we do want to kill Mirak on this build, we probably need to get... Um, esoteric magic. It's just an extra 15%. We don't even need that. We just need to lower his MR with Arcane Disjunction and then hit him with Laser Beam. All right. Well, I think this was a fairly successful stream. I think we got decently far. Our only real flub was Thunder, but that was a test anyways, so that didn't count. Um, Love Wheeler. Thank you very much, Ghoul, for telling me to go ahead and download this because this makes playing a mage all the better. I'm excited to use this on other other characters, too. So that's, that's super exciting, even on uh, simpleton characters. But it's going to be really nice on spell swords in the next update. But yeah, it's been fun. I will catch you guys maybe tomorrow, if not sometime after that. That was a long one. We made it to the eight-hour mark. That's what I wanted to make it to. We made it eight hours. All right, I'll catch you guys later. See you.